Oh, that should be much Shinji. Time for more Zelda. I'm excited to get back to this. It's gonna be pretty nice. So let me... <clears throat> oh, oh. Oh, come on. Okay, thank you. So this back to the smoothie shop. Right, right, right. It's a bunch of things in Death Mountain that I wanted to do. A couple of caves in Fort Simple Run City itself. Let me check. There was a... Hello! There was a rock down here somewhere that I wanted to see if I could pick it up and move it. I'm gonna go check that real quick. Hello, how are you? It's nice to see you again. Having fun? Maybe. Maybe. Something like that. Okay. And that chest is open again, but there was a rock. A rock I wanted to check out. I think it was over here, maybe? Yeah, this giant rock. I gotta figure out how to, a way to sort of make a staircase in order to move with it. This shouldn't be too bad. I just want to see what's underneath. No, I did not mean to do that. Come on. Okay. Okay. Bad. Bad. And hopefully this should be enough. It might not be. And... I, there we are! Okay, we managed to move the rock off. Anything under here? Oh! There's just a piece of heart under the rock! Incredible. And is that enough for another heart container? No, it's not. Still nice. There we go! That was fun to see. So now there are just a couple of bumble walls open up caves. Interesting, who's winning the fight? Without further information, I'll assume it was the headphones. Okay, we can open up these walls now that we have a bomb option. No, not like that. Not like that. Come on. You, just like that. Okay, there we go. Open that up. And we can get inside now. Thank you. And, oh, it's just an item. And, oh, wait, what? You got a fairy flower. Wear one of these lovely and fragrant flowers to make fairies occasionally appear when you cut grass or other plants. Okay, so it's just an accessory. Interesting. Huh. Lovely and fragrant flower. Yeah, it is pretty. It said it doesn't seem like it actually has any appearance difference. Okay, so let's go down and open up that other bombable wall. See what happens. There are also other smoothies that I could try making. I wonder if there's going to be any special reward or notation if we actually truly fill out the recipe book. It would be interesting. Hmm. Let's pick up the gear and fly a bit. Come on. Get over to this bomb of a wall down here. Oh, okay. I didn't expect it to actually fall like that. Oh, that is sad. Cool. Thank you. So what's in here? This is... Okay, just another chest, and... <clears throat> okay, six monster fangs. Okay, huh. Let's get rid of that pin. So it really is just Goron City in that one cave. So should I go in Goron City first, or the cave first? What do you think? I'm gonna make you decide. So that the decision... If I don't like the consequences of my decision, I'll be able to blame you. Okay. Any new recipes I can make, or... Who knows? Hello. Eee! River horse. And nothing there. Anything new at all? Oh, a grape and golden egg would be new. Hmm. Golden egg and... Monster fang probably wouldn't do anything. Let's try grapes and egg. It'll probably just be another instance of the normal golden smoothie, but whatever. Come on. And this is... Yeah, it's just a golden smoothie. Okay. Lots and lots of full heals. Cool. So in that case... Goron City or... 
Rock Roast Quarry. Let's go to the Rock Roast Quarry. <clears throat> yeah, there are a lot of things that are gated by story progress. <laughs> Check this out. What is gonna be in here? Rock Roast Quarry. I did not mean to do that. Oh, that's damage. Awesome. Not. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Bridge across that lava too. Hmm. Get over there. Here with. Oh, hello. Hi there. Should put down my sword mob one again. Stay out of the way. Thank you. <clears throat> Protect me. Thank you. Okay. But of course, to fight those ta little talus guys, the Twi'luses, you just need to put down the Twi'luses themselves. Okay. Let's make sure this isn't too much of a group fight. And... Ah, that's an interesting idea. Move them away from each other via binding. Can they hop? I can take them out. Not really, actually. Hmm. Will they hit? No, they miss entirely. Huh. Oops. What I'd have to do then is move them while... Yep, picking them up like that. We don't. We really don't. Okay. So we'll keep you on land like this. Just keep summoning the Twi'luses. What? Why would I ever fight an enemy in any way other than ganging up on them? Or more accurately, why would I let an enemy gang up on me if I could ever avoid it? There's really no reason. Hmm. To get that Twi'lus out. That will be maybe a little tougher. Put this bed down. Can I find you from here? Yeah, we can. Okay. That, mm, no, you're hitting the lava. Weird. There we go. Now well, if I pull you up here, that'll work. Just summon more of the Twi'luses. Okay. Oh, I know! But I'm saying, why would I ever fight in any way other than gang up on enemies one way or the other? It's simply the most intelligent path. Some rock salt, again, more than we need. Golden eggs really are the winning reagent right now. And that. Hey, rock roast is here. Interesting. Huh. Right, okay, grapes. Mm -mm. Let's learn this. And we can just make more rock roast. Yeah, but I'm already I'm already doing a challenge by not using my sword at all. <clears throat> and being on the literal challenge mode. When the rock roast echo considered a Goron delicacy, this meal is beyond the chewing power of the average Hylian. wonder if that would work on the Twi'luses. Probably would. Let's see. Yeah, they eat the rock roast. That's funny. Yep. Distract them. That's... so much of rock tatoes. Uh, okay. Well, it. You don't have to. Sometimes I sometimes I see reason. Rarely. Okay. And if they're here, we'll kill them. Okay. So I suppose the only thing for the quarry was just getting the rock roast. Espe well, because meat normal meat works on normal enemies. But the Twi'lus is... Oh, we can move... We can move any kind of treasure chest. I thought it would only be the ones that were actively stuck in the ground, but that doesn't make sense. Of course it would have to be like that. Hey, we'll move you over so you don't fall off. So if you drop something and you're on the magma, can't exactly do anything about that, can I? Okay, yeah, so... Just gotta go back to the start. I wanna see real quick, actually. Break any of these? Yeah, but at the same time... I can always suffer so much these days. I'm busier. You even pull them all off if you feel like it. Not that there'd be any purpose to it. 
Okay, cool. Would anything happen if we just summoned a bunch of Twi'lises to eat all these rock rows? Probably not. We'll feed our babies. Well, it, again! I wonder what the lore is on the sentience or non-sentience of the Echoes. A lot of sort of projections of Tri's mind, or... Is every Echo its own individual instance? Do they live and die upon creation? Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you, and we can jump on the Rock Roast. What's interesting is that... It's hitbox size in terms of being a platform does not change at all until it's already until it's gone. So you can kind of float over it. A little. Okay. Let's get out of this quarry. Well, I could just teleport. That is right. Seems that the only thing in here was just getting the rock roast, which should be useful to either feed two a Goron or I don't know. Beta monster or something. Actually, let me see. I wonder if I could open up that Wizolfos cave by distracting that Goron with Rock Rose. And if so, I wonder if it would be the intended method of getting in in the first place, or some kind of sequence break. Oh well. Yeah. You want to head deeper in? Sorry, I can't let you do that. It's too dangerous still to keep out. And... We... Talk to you. Okay, you don't get distracted. Yeah, it just goes away. It was it was an interesting idea to attempt. So I think I'll go into Goron City now and see if there's anything new. Fair enough. Got our rock roast. Oh well. Uh -huh, Goron City's through here. I gotta say, we don't get a lot of Highland visitors. The insignia under the Goron head up here, the little triangles and diamond, that's the Goron symbol, which gets used in a number of other games, too. Clearly, I bet I could rip off that lid and hop inside. Her rifts have been popping up all over. It makes me afraid one, afraid one might appear here on Elden Volcano 2 someday. Wait until the story progresses. Yeah. Papa, Papa, I'm hungry. Am I what a lot is hungry? Yes, eat lots. You'll grow up to be a strong Goron, just like me. What if we made you rock roast? Okay, nothing. Sad. Anything here? Or... Ah, here's a Goron shop. What are you up to? So hungry, but I can't decide what to get. I guess it's gonna have to be a quest for them to react. Hello. Welcome, how can I help you today? Nothing to sell. Enthusiasts need monster stones, they won't buy them. Blue potion for energy. This potion tastes odd, but is wonderfully invigorating. We don't need that. Hmm. Oh, but what's interesting is that it seems like it's constant, just like hearts, that now that we're level 3 energy, it's a maximum of 6 pips, 6 segments instead of 4, I think. We have been more than enough rock potatoes and rock salt. We'll be okay on that front. Hmm. Oh well. Talk, welcome, tell me how I can help you today. Let's chat. Just got a bunch of new things in, come take a look. Do you also have a bunch of new things in? Feel free to take your time browsing. Well, at least it said something different. So, let's keep moving around and see if there's anything of note to really do in here then. I... Can I bomb this open? Maybe. Come on. Hmm. What if I got up on top? Feels if I... Interesting. You can platform on this. I... Go away. We don't need that. Okay. Let's try to get on this lid. I imagine that... This will open up eventually. There was a similar lid in Kakariko. Eh, okay. Honestly, seems like it might be a limiting point, so to speak. Hmm. Let's set a pin here. Interesting how we had to wobble that a bit. So, you're here. Is this anything? No. Hello. A 
so can any of the Elden Volcano Hot Springs. It's great for when you're feeling run down. They're also great for hard, rocky skin. Hmm. Another Goron. Hello. And you are time to light them up. Fireworks, they're bursting with color, spirit, and craftsmanship. I'm boss of the local fireworks artist. Humongous firework displays are my life's work. I'm showing off my next creation, the celebration for a new chief. And I want to add a blast of color to my latest design. But even though I've been thinking on it for a while now, I'm not sure what'll help it feel fresh. Probably maybe getting those bomb enemies? When the new chief asked about it, I said it's gotta be amazing, so I got it delivered. They need blast powder soil to make fireworks, and I used up all, my, all mine up while experimenting. Get more blast powder soil, but I also need to create a new firework, and I'm just one guy. So I have to actually go somewhere, maybe? Where to find it? Well, it's usually up higher on the mountain, is a thing. There's golden flowers, I like to grow in it, so you can usually find it whenever, wherever you see lots of them. Hmm. The fireworks artist. Basa Goron City's fireworks artist has run out of blast powder soil. You can find some up where lots of golden flowers bloom. It might be! You can usually find blast powder soil wherever you see lots of those golden flowers. If I haven't seen any near here lately, I'll have to get higher on the mountain. Huh. Okay. What do you mean by that? Oh, yeah. just fireworks. You say I have brain rot. Hello there, welcome to Goron City. What's through here? Just tablets. Hmm. Anything else in here? I can't read this yet. This is clearly some kind of door. Okay. But that won't move that. Mm. Let's go and look for that soil, I suppose. Golden flowers higher up on the mountain. Mm. I wonder what they mean by that specifically. Oh, okay, just right over here. Rock Roast Quarry. Here we go. Let's check that. And... You got some Blast Powder Soil. It's a material used in fireworks to make vibrant colors. You should bring it to the fireworks artist in Goron City. And okay, it's another key item. Okay. A key fireworks ingredient that burns in beautiful colors. Fireworks made with it are powerful and brilliant. Huh. Let's actually send the other Resolvos there. That is sad. Send the better Lizolfos at the worst Lizolfos. Come on. Uh, agile, but they're slow too. And oh, that just fell in. How sad. Okay, let's get myself that quest done. I wonder where I'll go after the that. Maybe the lake. Also, there's Hebra. Mountain where I'd like to go to. Because that in particular would be a way to explore, maybe get some good echoes. It's the snow mountain. Hello. I smell rotten eggs. You must have found some blast pepper soil, so it's sulfurous. Is that for me? Here you go. We can't even refuse. Oh, you got me right in the heart with your kindness. Yeah, right inspiring. Really? I just, just. Oh, that's it. I've got it. I can adjust the blast powder ratio to make new colors like gold and aqua. That will be the perfect thing for the celebration of our new chief. Now I've got to get to work, I'll show him what a master of the craft can do. Hmm. And we're gonna get a cutscene. Since he helped me out, you get a front row seat for the show. Here we go. What? Okay. That's cute. Papa, look, fireworks. Ooh, such pretty colors. Ah, watching fireworks from a hot spring is like bliss, but better. Well, I've never seen fireworks with these colors before. Boss's fireworks are the best. Cute. I'm so glad everyone, including the new chief, liked the new fireworks. Oh, can we get that as an echo then? I can't thank you enough, but maybe this will speak for me. Okay, it's a purple rupee. 50 rupees, yeah. If there's anything I learned from this, it's that you shouldn't promise more than you can deliver. The next time I'm in a pinch, I'll just be honest. Yep! You delivered the Blast Powder Soul, the boss of the fireworks artist, his colorful new fireworks, delighted all of Goron City. And that's... We're in the firework echo. This device, crowning achievement of its Goron artisan, launches three fireworks in a row. 
So I would imagine that he can use this to hit aerial enemies. Interesting. Hmm. Just says that again. What if I put it here? Would it blow that up? Hmm. That did not seem to hit that there. Hmm. Okay. I want to try that out on something then. See what I can maybe hit. So you basically got a new weapon out of that. The fact that things are very single use actually makes their value much higher. Really though. Hey, what if I drag you over here? Oh, nice. That's fun. Yeah, that is a great way to take out aerial enemies. It's real fun, actually. Huh. Just trap them under the fireworks firework cannon and you're good to go. That is very cool. Okay, and sure get hit by all of them. That that's real cool. Okay, so I suppose the question is can't really do anything in the forest. I wanna save Hyrule Castle for a bit. Maybe I'll go to Hever now. Honestly. I can bomb this cave open, because previously I couldn't. So I'd actually just climb up the side. What's interesting is that you can climb up to it, and there's a sort of noticeable transition. But if you try to glide off it, you'll just void out. So it's a one-way trip in that sense. So... What I want to see, honestly, is whether... Hmm. As fast as Lizalfos is, it doesn't attack all that quickly. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I got both of them. It's full offense, but the Sword Moblin honestly attacks faster. I wonder if it deals more damage, but... Hmm. Come on. It doesn't cut grass. And it doesn't seem to notice enemies all that well. Oh, whatever. Well, the lock-on helps. Okay. That isn't all that bad. Okay, so... I wonder if the firework could actually activate... Pull up that wall. No, it's too high. Mm -hmm. So we'll pull this open with our zero. Thank you. And... There we are. Cool. Get inside here. This is... Let me break that. Check. Hebra Mountain Passage. Mm hmm. Pull this up. Or not? Okay, that worked. Strange. Cool. So to get up top here, now that we broke that, I wonder what difference that might have made. Huh. Oh, whatever. I... Keys over there. What is something that could work well in the air? I feel like I could maybe just swarm them with guineas. It's an ant idea. Okay, cool. Go ahead. And yeah, that worked decently enough. Keys might be stronger, honestly. Seem to fight pretty well. Okay, just make a couple more. Hopefully they'll get it. There's some rupees, but... Uh huh? Huh? Okay. Yeah. It's all a matter of the aggression or lack thereof. Maybe I should just summon normal keys. Hmm. Or a big genie. Okay, there we go. Oh, the speed was what mattered. Okay. Let's climb up here. Let's hop off. Cool. Climb up and over. Now that we've got bombs, I want to see if I can get a Beemos, honestly. Best way to do this would be to bridge up. The bomb will destroy the bed, but that's okay. 
No, oh, but mm, we need to actually throw the bomb once it's there. Go ahead. Mm. Need a bed and a zero, probably. And I oh, never mind. That was dumb. The bomb and come on. Spit a bomb, spit a bomb. This way, please. This way. Then we need to throw it at the wrong moment, and this should be. Yeah, there we go. Cool. It worked. A little scoff, but yeah. Okay, and oh, pfft, almost fell, because. So we'll put the bed on top of the bomb. Interesting. Hmm. Alright. Let's get another bomb out, Mr. Bomb Producer. Still blow it up. Yep. A bit silly, but. Mm. I wonder if you can get crushed by an elevator. You can get crushed by moving stuff and. No, it just stops. Huh. Okay. Well, more like this. I. Okay. I. No, not like that. I swear to God. S you're so unwieldy. Come on. I oh, really? Put it up here, we should probably be fine. I... Yeah, I... No, no. Please. For love of all that is good and holy. And... Move up, move up. I... Okay, we got one of them. That's what we needed. It's a little scuffed. Just a little. What I could do is... Bomb it down, bomb it down. And should do it. Yeah, and oh, it even got stuck in the block somehow. Well, the annoying, unwieldy zero is. Oh, I bet the firework would have firework cannon would have actually blown that up. Well, yeah, let's actually try this then. That it work? No, it doesn't. Huh? Okay. Hmm. And a is that a stronger P hat or? Hmm. What is Ariel that I would be... Let's just summon two Needleflies. Well, actually, the best way to do it would just be to summon two Firework Cannons. Yeah. Cool. And... Is that dead? It's just dead. Nice. Okay. It's so nice having something that Ariel. And... That's annoying. I... Especially since it blocks the bombs being thrown. This is... Oh, chili peppers. You got non-warm peppers. These are a key ingredient in Gerudo cooking, but you can't use them in their current form. Use that to stay warm on the mountain, then. Hmm. Key ingredient in Gerudo cooking. When used in a drink, it grants the drinker resistance to cold, so you can get it through here if you go here before you actually progress the storyline normally by going to Gerudo land. Okay. Cool. Alright. Just like this. You should hopefully spit it out into the block. Maybe. Or not, because you turned around like a useless imbecile. Okay, there we go. There we are. That shouldn't break it. Should take us up a lot higher now, hopefully. Let's see. Will you progress? I should hope. Huh, huh. Interesting, but it stops, which is good. So now I'd imagine I need to basically go around and break the other bomble rock on the other side. It makes some sense. Let's keep going, and pff, that didn't work. I no reason not to just strangle this. And oh, it seems to have a height limit. Okay, now I now I understand. Hmm. So to move that rock out of the way. To where? That's what's interesting. So your bomb. Oh, you're impossible. Whatever. So now. Guess we just move this out of the way. So that I can go a bit farther. And that seems to be the meaning of that puzzle. Okay. Gotta wait for the elevator to come back. 
What is this Elden Ring? Okay. Thank you. Summon a bunch of keys to take out the other keys. I use the keys to defeat the keys. Come on, man. Oh, it actually stopped. It stopped the elevator. Because it hit the keys and it treated it like colliding with a block. So I guess it just, do just does that to avoid destroying echoes, maybe. Makes some sense. Come on. Just gotta take that piece out. Come on. There we go. So... Is this just the top of Heber, though? Basically. Okay. Oh! Some kind of squash. Got a twisted pumpkin. This item can be used to recover hearts, but is more effective when mixed into a drink. Huh. Pumpkin that grew in a twisted shape. When used in a drink, it grants the drinker faster key winding speed. Oh, for automatons. Oh, because it's twisted. Eh, that's cool. Hmm. I... It's an interesting place. I kind of feel as if... Going to make some smoothies would be a good idea right now. Using all of those peppers, try to get that warming effect as much as possible. It might be good to make a bunch of potions, maybe? Because with weaker echoes, it's going to take a while to kill anything that's here. So I need to keep that warming effect up as much as I can. Hmm. Hello there. Pee. Twisted pumpkin. Did that make a twisted potion? Hmm. New smoothie combo. It's that one pumpkin we got from that one pot. Interesting. And we don't even have any automatons yet. I don't even know where we get them. And that's... We got a twisty... A twisted twisty. Drinking a slightly bitter potion boost your key winding speed. So what will I part with? Let's get rid of that apple smoothie. Let's get rid of the crap. That can go. This can go. That can go. Hmm. Bunch of peppers. Okay, mixed apple can go. Golden should stay. Not getting rid of anything golden. Okay, radiant, milky climbing, golden, sweet climbing can go. So much stuff that parting with anything is tough. Okay. Got a bunch of warm peppers. What will this make? Pepper smoothie? Spicy smoothie? Hmm. Trying to make one potion, at least. And that's... A... Got a warm smoothie. Chill proof. The spiciness of this bold smoothie will warm you from the inside out. Hmm. That and... A fang should make a potion. P. This, some of that, yeah. We're filling out that potion book. And it's smoothie book. And that's a warming potion. Drink the simmering potion provides cold resistance thanks to aromatic spices. Hmm. Golden gotta stay. Uh, maybe. Climbing's not something I really feel like I need. Warming is good because health restoration is always crucial, but let's. Take it with a neck to boost the effect. Let's see. Any more climbing would any more warming would be good. And that's Oh, it's actually crap. That surprises me. How'd that boost it? Huh. Okay. So I guess it just doesn't have a lot of good combinations. Okay, pepper and grapes. Hmm. This is a warm mixed special. An exceptional and spice forward mixed smoothie with a new tingling aroma and it restores energy. Oh, so presumably energy and chill proof kind of come naturally bundled. So I guess they expect you to use Sword Master up on the mountain. However, it will not be happening. Do it with the milk. Sure. Maybe the salt. 
I want to fill out that recipe book. And I want to see every combination. You got a warm mix special. Yeah, okay. Both of those. Energy recovery I don't use. That and... Rock salt. I want, to, I want to see what the cost of making the golden ones is and see if it's any more. I bet it would be. Gotta be some kind of ingredient cost stacked in. And... More crap? What? Really? That's insane. Check the recipes. 150 rupees. 150. And yeah, 300 for the golden. Wow. 300. 300. Wow. Huh. Well, we can try some other options. It seems to mostly be giving us inedible garbage. Potato. Got a lot of... Only five ingredients you haven't found yet, though. Hmm. And that is a warm rock potato smoothie. Oh, spicy, fragrant, rich, and tingly hot. The smoothie is, is its own buffet of flavors. So, it varies specifically. And there's a synergy between the rock potato. Less energy recovery, but more chill resistance. That's good. Okay. That ends. Try an apple, then. Sure. Okay. Got it. Apple and pepper. And our result is get another warm mix special. Okay, that's fine. So we used up all of our peppers, and honestly, I'm not sure whether I want to. I might honestly want to explore around Hyrule Castle first, maybe see if this is Eastern Palace. Every little bit of strength before I actually go to Havra would be nice. So having to put up with constant health drain from the cold is going to be pretty annoying. Hmm. It's definitely some kind of late game. Just a grape. If I really wanted to, it seems I could farm those pumpkins from inside here. But that is, of course, rather inelegant. Okay. Yeah. And it probably wouldn't work all that well anyway. So. Some moat around here. Which are this stuff. Let's go in the area around the moat. Try to link up over here. And then go to the lake, maybe. Sure. Yep, and this is job rule, which is not where I want to go, but I think this this arch is interesting, because this is around where the Eastern Palace was in the original Link to the Past. But hmm. Hmm. Well, nothing to do but keep going. Let us continue Zelda's interesting adventure. Oh, that's right. Take out the Gwaze with this firework cannon. Nice. Come on. Here we are. One, two. Get hit. And how did that hit me? How did I get hit? Never mind. I okay. Friendly fire. I huh? Huh? Oh, because it's right over me, more or less. Interesting. Well, it. Five half hearts is in two and a half hearts. Way in bed. Okay. Hmm. Stuff here. What is this wall? Didn't really go up on, I don't think. Check that out too then. But yeah, we managed to get that rock rose, but it hasn't been useful yet and get a nice new. Aerial combat option. Oh, but that's right, I forgot. Briefly. There is a weird enemy called a Beemos. I found over here. And I could deactivate it by hitting it, but I could not destroy it. And I'm pretty sure that a bomb would do it. Because in the Zelda games where you could actually destroy a Beemos, you had to use bombs. 
see if I can get it. I imagine it would be five cost. So I wouldn't be able to use it yet, but most should think about. Go away from these goo specters. I oh come on. Go in here. This is this is not the right spot. It was Is this the right spot? I hope. Let's see. Yeah, this is the right spot. Okay. Hmm. I let's move you down. Oh, but the repulsion is terrible. Okay, I can push you off. That's good. Let's let a zero. Hmm. Push this bomb away, maybe? Come on. Ugh. Spit way too far. Come on, I- Oh, huh. So the bomb didn't actually do it. Wonder what would. Ah, just another bomb. And here we are, Beemos Echo. That's exciting. We're the Beemos Echo. And it- Only three! Okay. Any foe in the strange creature's field of vision will be struck by its eye beams under threat. It hardens like a rock. Okay, so yeah... You can only take one hit, but it seems as if they should be pretty threatening. Should be able to just be noke most things. Let's try this out on Deku Bob would actually be good fodder because it's stationary. Oh, I did not mean to do that. To put the Beemos down. Okay. Thank you. Oh, you can just blow them up. If they eat a bomb, they'll just blow up. Huh. But they have stone hard skin. But of course, the best way to take the deck of Bob out is to just yank the head. Yep. There we go. And for whatever reason, they drop apples. Okay. But we got the Beemos. It was cheaper than I expected, but in light of the fact that they can only ever take a single hit, that makes sense. I want to see how the Gwei might work. I might be able to use him against that Gwei, maybe. He's able to keep the Gwei stuck. He could attack it with impunity, I think. Oh, the Gwei's still there, though. It didn't respawn. That one is still there. Hello. Thanks. I Come on. And... Nice. Mm. They actually... Their damage is a little less than expected. Hmm. Okay. Let's mark it as Rift. I wonder what'll close it. Hmm. Well, at least we got another Echo. Completius and me is happy, at least. This is... It is... Nectar, okay. And... We have a good amount of... We have this field is so big. At least we finished putting up wanted posters in the west, but no one's seen Princess Zelda yet. First we were ordered to save her, and now we're ordered to capture her. Oh, we probably should have seen this a couple of days ago. It's just that I went west instead of going north. Let's go in the castle, I suppose, would be the most obvious. Doesn't this really sit right with me to be treating her like some sort of villain? I mean, it's weird to me too, but orders are orders and all. Yeah, I guess. Anyway, we're nothing out east in Seaside Village. Let's patrol here for now, I guess. And basically sends you there. Okay. I know they told us to find the princess, but the world's a big place and she could be anywhere. Besides, I've got my doubts that she's as bad as they're saying. Hello. And can we talk to you? Yeah. Hello there, traveler. What do you want us to know? If you happen to spot Zelda, the prince is a high roll. We didn't find anything east at Seaside Village. Let's patrol around here for a while. Hmm. So that would be the most obvious place next then. Sort of pointing you there. Similarly, Breath of the Wild, one you more or less go to. Zora's River first. Kinda. Well, you know, Zolfos is good and aggressive. We can probably do some of that fighting, but it doesn't seem all that good at spotting enemies. You have to very much direct it. Which is interesting. Very led by the nose type of deal. Well, I guess Snout. It is a lizard like creature. And this is right outside the castle. Hmm. Any enemies or 
Rupees. Thank you. And should be a mic crystal. Or that rock. Very conspicuous. Oh no, I already got that one. Never mind. Let's send our friend to go get that wolfos. Hello. Come on, come on. Thank you. Oh, please. Go ahead. Oh, you got both of them. Cool. Now let's let this Lizalfos take this Wolfos out. It's good at keeping its distance. Jump's funny. Come on. Yeah, it... The mob one's better. In terms of sheer aggression, it seems. Hmm. Well, it's knowledge. But the main thing with the Lizalvos is probably just the fact that it withstands lava. To be totally honest. Resistant to fire, yeah. Hmm. Stuff in this moat, but stay away from the moat right now. And oh, here's a teleport point. Thank you. There we are. This waypoint has been recorded. You can now warp here using the map. Yeah, yeah. But there was that one wall between the ranch area and this south area that I like to check out and take out. Oh, okay. I not like that. I have to send in a marble. Oh well. Thank you. Spear can't do much. I. Huh? Never mind. There we go. Okay. There. Thank you. I. That's. Grab you again. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Hmm. What else in where? This is up north of the lake, it seems. A bit down in the lake, but. Hmm. To get that, it seems, we'll have to do some water traveling. Have to actually swim in it instead of uh, just walking around it like you could not want to the past. Okay. Hmm. Back here, but then I want to go up here. Of course, I can just use the crawl to live for that without much trouble, which is nice. I will castle Seaside Village in Southern Prairie. Hmm. Okay. There are the soldiers, and we'll just get up top here using our crawl to lie. Thanks. Oh, there we are. Let's check this out. Thank you. Anything up here? I think there might have been more crystal. That should do it. Thank you. And up here is... Seemingly... Nothing! Okay. Fair enough. But, at least we know for sure now. To travel around this beautiful world more. Hmm. Let us keep moving. Chest, grass is dead cut. Good way to remember where we've been. Let's keep looking. This is... Kind of where I stopped? Yeah. Okay. Up uh, by that teleport point. Let's approach you from behind. Well, we tried, it didn't work. Guess that snake had eyes on the sides of its head, maybe. Maybe. Good for it. So, more this, more that. Cut a zole. Now that I'm worried. Yep. Yeah. Thank you. We will work our way over chopping more grass along the way. It's the only constant in this world. Oh, there was a rupee up there I missed. Okay. Always go back for the rupee. So. Work our way by the palace. Yeah, I do think be good to always see what is in the place where Eastern Palace used to be. If it's not still Eastern Palace itself. Thanks. Nice job. Good timing. And, oh, there's some just chilling up there. Okay. How far does this go? Hmm. 
You are... I'm saying, have you perhaps seen the Great Fairy around here? The Great Fairy? The Great Fairy is a divine being known to grant people mysterious powers. After poring over old writings about her, I have reason to believe she's hiding here at Lake Hylia. These writings, they say she's beautiful enough to take her breath away. She'll steal your heart the moment you lay eyes on her. So I give anything to catch just one glimpse of the Great Fairy. You've got to go. Please let me know if you happen to see her. That's on the other side. Let's show them that now, too. So the lake and the moat are connected. It's also probably connected, so we could explore that entire body of water all at once, maybe? Maybe. Hmm. Either way, there's a bit more grass to cut. We'll go south of that bridge instead right now. See what's in the lake proper. Is that bridge is my northern cutoff point, maybe? That's as good an idea as any. So that would be... Uh, okay. It's got to be some sort of rupee collection from range. Accessory or something, I would imagine. I would hope. So... Tell me... Oh, we got monsters. Hello. Go ahead, spawn something. Else. Okay, it's just evil shadow jewels. And... Alright. Shadow piece. Come on. And when you bounce off the shield, you get stunned a bit. That is convenient for us. And anyone or anything else here? This is... You have the whole, whole lake. Some islands. Some water. Hmm. This rift... I wonder if I could go inside right now. Probably not. So that one's still there. Wonder what will clear that up. Probably just story progress, maybe. Mm. Probably maybe. Well, there's a bunch of grass underwater. Mm. I maybe I'll go along the entire shoreline first. Use that crawl to let it get up. Jump up here. Get on the outside wall. So I could spot. Stay away from that. Thank you. How about you stay away from me? Thank you. Range of the recall is... The dispel is... Pretty short. Mm. I thought it would get that crawl tool, but... The vertical distance at which it fails to activate is... Surprisingly strict. Mm. Anything up top here, or not? Blue rupee. Hmm. Oh, an abominable wall. Uh-huh, so maybe it was good we went to Death Mountain first. I mean, Elven Volcano. Right. So, zero. Thanks. Is there a bomb? Oh, we can actually go inside that rift. Oh, interesting. So we'll do that. What's in here? Another accessory, and... Oh, just milk. Okay. It... We already have enough. But that's nice, at least. I'm not gonna cry over free milk. I think that's how the saying goes. It doesn't. Thank you. Mm. Top here. What else is going to be over this way? I think this is where the intro sequence kind of was. It's above the forest around the ruins. So I think this is where she managed to escape the ruins. Yeah. Yeah. It's probably going to be the other side then. Yep, it's the other side of southern ruins. If we, can, if we pull this out, we get... Okay, just... Oh! A single gold mag. That might be useful with one of the warming potions, actually. I would like to see... How far can I get if I... I'll just crawl up here. And it seems to stop. Okay. So it's meant to just block you off. Yep, this is how we originally escaped. It's not connected, because it's all busted up. Okay. 
Hmm. Going inside that rift might be nice. I want to see what healing the Lake Hylia rift would actually close, though. There's a rift over here, and also rifts over here and here. We couldn't go inside this one. Not when I last checked. Not when I was there. Might be worth checking again. But it does seem as if levels are going to be connected to... Tri-levels are going to require doing some side objectives, as in other rifts. So this is where we saw the stamp guy before, right? Yep. This is where we got that sword novel level two echo. Well, over over there. Okay. Let's. Oh, but the crawl tool can't actually come out here. You have to. Wait, can I? Yeah, I know I can do that, and then get up on the trees. That's good. Let's do that one. Thank you. And then we can keep moving. Get up top here and see what I might miss. Okay. Bring me up. And that's fine. Eastern Hyrule Field. This is where that Marlin was, where that group of Marlins was. Hmm. Stuff over here, but that's honestly connected to. Jobbles. When we get to Jobble, that's where we'll explore that. Okay. And here, no. What else? A couple of islands that way, but some annoying tectites. So what's Aquatica that I could use? I guess I'll just summon the piranhas. Cool. Nice, go ahead. Take them off. And we stay underwater and just... Oh, well, the Tektites can, of course, go away from the water. They're pretty free. Come on. I... Thank you. Oh, of course we can actually bind them. That's right. Okay. Let's go over where other annoying things are. Come on. Can we drag you in or... Oh, I did not intend for that. Come on. But, we'll be okay. I, all right. Fine. Stay underwater while our piranha buddies take you out. Thank you. There we are. We come back now and... Seems to be a diggable spot. Mm -hmm. But frankly, I want to pull you out then. Okay. Come on. I, oh, jumping octo. Dr. Rocks. Jumping Dr. Rocks. Come on. Through jump. And there we are. Cool. Now this is definitely a diggable spot. Mark that for later. When we get the ability to dig. However that's going to happen. A bunch of grass shop under here, honestly. I wonder if any of it is going to have any might crystal in it. So keeping track of it's a bit annoying. Come on, come on. Surface. It's a big lake. Chopping all the grass in it would be. Interesting. Okay. Come on, come on. Well, at least they're easy to take out. As long as the piranhas actually know to find them. Okay, come on. Oh, but they don't really go down in the water as readily. The piranhas don't. So will bind you. Come on. Oh, but the Lizalfos, the normal Lizalfos. Can it go in water? Oh, no, it's only the Lizalfos I can't use that can go in water, I think. Maybe? Yeah. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Oh. Surface, but you take some damage if you don't surface in time. You just start drowning. You actually start drowning. Okay. Well, Zelda bed. Uh, I 
wonder how many more pieces of heart are in the game if there were 20 heart containers in total. Well, more stupid and annoying fish. There's small fish in there too, but I can't grab them. Can't echo them. I can't even walk onto them. Just go away and move around. Okay. Let's keep moving. Kill more fish. Shot the grass, kill the fish. That's what it means. Okay. And even if they were underwater, they went so underwater that they were unreachable, which is good. Okay. Surface soon, probably. Chopping more sea grass. But again, you gotta wonder how much of this counts for anything. When are we gonna get? A microsaur or something of that sort, if ever, because there was one pond. I think it was it was one of these. This one, I think, that had some tropical seagrass at the bottom that did give you a microsaur. And I am constantly living in a state of induced madness because of it. Because I have to feel like I have to check every single one of them. Well, that blocks you off even, you can't even swim under it. Okay. I saw Gaga. Which one was that? Someone had a rupee over there. Okay. Thank you. I have to scrimp and save. And we can actually surface with it. That's nice. Surface with it too. We're gonna get to a place where the piranhas can more adequately kill. Okay. Chop the grass, chop the grass around the rips. Yeah. It fairies over there. In the center, I would presume, because that is where she was in Link to the Past. That, a cave in the center of Lycalia. And this is, of course, Lycalia. Let us continue our swimming. Yeah, it it really is the constant of the Zelda game. We'll always be trying to chop grass. Actually, it's wrong. In Breath of the Wild, you can't chop grass. In Tears of the Kingdom, the grass is different. And you can't really chop it. Maybe that's why. Maybe that's why it didn't really hit all the same notes. Cause you can't chop the grass. It honestly would not surprise me if that was it. Come on. I Let's get you here and let our piranhas kill this tech type, please. I beg of you. Come on. Come on. Okay. Hit, hit the thing I want you to hit. So this... Move this out. Is there going to be a piece of heart or a microsaur or something over here? Pick this up, pull it out. Okay, it's just a my crystal. Okay, cool. There we are. We'll dive down, get this, and we cannot exactly use these yet. Because we've gotten every single upgrade available to us right now, but. And again, I don't even use the sword for anything. But it's cool to have. If only because it's a collectible that I've been wanting to be getting anyway for completion purposes. So, oh, and there's a teleport point right by the Great Fairy. That absolutely smacks of convenience. Okay. Let's kill some more Tektites and talk to the Great Fairy. I know she takes lots and lots of money. I don't know what she gives you. I just know that whatever she gives you, she requires a lot of money in exchange. So I would like to... That's why I've been getting so many rupees. To be fair, a lot of them have been spent on just making useless smoothie recipes that I've been eating just to clear out space. Drinking, drinking just to clear out space. But, that's life sometimes. And Do the piranhas not turn around? That's weird. They come on. There we are. I think there's one more tech titan here. Maybe. But... 
every single enemy in Hyrule, every monster, it's there I'm going to kill it. This is, this is predetermined. I can't live any other way. Come on, come on. It's around there. Almost connected to where we were before. Alright, yeah, this is where we were before. There's no grass here. So, can do diving. Thanks. Keep on moving and keep on chopping. Nothing by that waterfall. I think I may have successfully chopped all the grass. Maybe me. It's starting to regenerate, but it's normal. Unfortunately. And my plan of permanent Hyrulean aquatic defoliation has been severely impacted and impeded. Okay, well, let's activate this. There we are. Cool. Ah. right by the Great Fairy. I wonder if we can tell that gal about the Great Fairy after we come here. Oh, we got other fairies. And our bottles are empty, so it's good that there are a couple here. Cool. So what are you gonna say? How many rupees are you gonna want? Da -da -da -da. Okay. Hello there. Check. <clears throat> and it's you! Hi. And now we get fairy fountain music. Nice. Yawn, or are you the one that wake me up, dear? Let's have a look at you. Yes, I don't know who you are or where you're where you from, but you are a diamond in the rough. With just a bit of polish, you could be a diamond with stuff. But what approach to take? <laughs> Got it. What if I increase the number of accessories you can wear? Oh, that's cool. Yes, we must be bold, daring. Are you ready to begin your adventure of style? Chat with me. Oh, well, my gift is increasing the number of accessories you can wear. There's no sure path to true style, my dear. Dot, dot, dot. For a few rupees, of course. Can I help you? Sure. Make more stylish. Of course, I'll need 100 rupees. Never saw it. Hell, I adore rupees. Aha, uh -huh, as promised, I'll enhance your style. I wonder what else I would wear. Maybe the knockback spin one. She just fart on me. Nasty. Your accessory limit has been raised by one. You can now wear more accessories than ever before. Now go out into the world and show off your accessory success. Irvy. Can I help you? Make it more stylish. Oh, what can I polish your style? Oh, uh -huh. well, I'm afraid the cost of resident 300 rupees. We can pay that. Thank you. How I adore rupees. And we got three slots now. Cool. So I wonder how many times I can do that, whether the limit is four or five, because that's four, then that's literally just Elden Ring talismans. Or Souls Rings. Accessory limit has been raised by one. With even more rupees, I can make you even more stylish, you know. Can I help you make it more stylish? Oh, can I polish your style? I believe that will be 500. Don't have it. I'm afraid you can't afford my services. Really rather disappointed right now. And... Okay. There we go. Okay. I thought the final one would be 999 or something, if that's even the limit. Equipment and fairy appearance, eh. Shoulder pad, hearts won't do anything, but doesn't mark. Climbing band is an idea, and see, it changes appearance a bit. Cool, that's fun. Let's go and close this rift. Oh, and it marks the fairy fountain. Oh, the great fairy shrine, that is. Interesting. Oh well. You can create an entrance here. Sandback Zelda. I wonder if that's a more accurate translation for the other ones. True that there were fairy shrines, but they were censored to felonies. Because Link to the Past was when. Back during the era in which Nintendo games under localization would censor any and all religious references. Let's go in. A small, non-connected one, so we won't get that much try experience, presuming. Oh, water. I mean, since my friends here, they're trapped. They're trapped in three areas, to be exact. If we rescue them all, we can fix this rift. Cool. This is a normal one. Stilled Lake Hylia. 
Seems pretty big, honestly. Okay. Spoon, spoon, and we got fish. I. What if we put you on land? That's fine. Hello there. And you can't do much now, can you? Yeah. Oops. Actually, you're still pretty strong. Okay, go ahead. Luis. Hit the right one, please. Okay. And no reason to fight the fish where they can actually fight back. But, there we go. So it's got long enough range that can hit them from out of the side of the water, too. Oh, interesting. Come on. I... Oh, please. I... Let's... Get out here, maybe. We want this way, and... Please... Okay. Take you out here, slash... Slash... Oh, come on. Thank you. One more slash, and... That's one of Tri's friends. Thank you. And you. Check that. There. Mm. Go in that tree. Thank you. Track that up. Of course, we do have that knockback, presumably. I wonder if it's increasing my range. Probably not. Mm. Up here? No, nothing there. Mm. Interesting. Interesting. Something over that way, but I wonder how we get to there. I have to do some kind of climbing or bridging, maybe? Or I could have to bed bridge across. Bed bridge up, maybe. Well, before that, there's grass to chop. Okay. Let's move this out of the way. Let's see. If any of these rocks go anywhere? Probably not. But there does seem to be a hole under one of them. Hmm. Come on, come on, come on. Go up, pull that on. Oh, there was just a random fish there. That's fun. Come on. A couple of piranhas should take you out pretty well. And oh my goodness. Come on. Oh, find you. Thank you. If I put a bed down here, I wonder if I could sleep in it. Underwater. Not underwater, but on the surface of the water. I imagine I'd be able to, honestly. It's fun that it seems that things are hidden underneath some of, some of the recess of the rocks. Are in. Oh, we can... Ah, that seems to be a tunnel we can swim through. Interesting. Okay. That was not immediately obvious, but that's how we want us to do it. And of course we could just try to crawl to a... Uh, over the trees, too, but it's just not necessary. But that is a way you can do that if you are so inclined. Okay. And anything there? Yeah, another fish. Okay. All right. Did I hit you? No. Come on. Turn yourself around or not. It. The piranhas don't turn around that well at all. And that rupee got missed. How sad. I wonder if any of them are going to be anything other than just fish that to fight. At least one of them could be a cool ruby or something. I don't know. I'm bagging at this point. Come on. Okay. There's one in here. Let's pull it out and yep, another mean fish. Okay. Come on. You're not like that. Alright. Come on. Turn around there. Can you see? I uh, not really. Okay. This might work. Go ahead, what's the arc of your jump? Okay, that worked. Okay. Let's dive down. So we can make a bed and let it float up so we can... Yep, rest in the floating bed. I don't think this is what people usually mean when they say water bed. Probably not. I'm not an expert though. So we have... One more try friend after this, and then I guess I'll go to Eastern Palace. That makes sense. If 
500 rupees for one more accessory slot. And I do wonder how many more accessory slots there will be after that. Okay, so this is the one that we can pull and get something other than a fish out of... Yeah, okay. Cool. That's a try friend. A multiple. Okay. And the final branch should be easy enough to get to. We'll just jump out of the water. Jump over here. Thank you. Mm. Surface. Spin up. Just fun. And then do I... Mm. Well, the Beamos would do here. Hopefully decent. Yep. Fine. Spears are annoying, though. Alright. And, of course, Beamos had to be replaced. Seems like there's a bit of a cooldown. I don't know when it can attack. Huh. I can't pick them up, either. It's a bit of a bother. Come on. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be detecting it. Well, whatever. Let's put the Beamos down here, maybe. I... no. What if I... That's a bit scuffed. What? Bed bridge, bed bridge. Maybe like this. I... no, no. Will that hit? You are not getting detected for whatever reason. So I suppose... Spear Mob level 2 would work and... Oh, really? Come on. Go ahead. I... What? What? You're going fast. It's annoying. I... The tree seems to be blocking that for some reason, somehow, and... Really? Okay. Huh. What they need to but rest and try to figure out how to take you out? Maybe. Swarm you with keys? I feel like that'd probably be the best option, really. It... That single mob one is a better guard than would have ever expected. I do wonder how much try experience I'll get from this. Got a really tiny amount. I guess what that does imply is that not every dungeon is going to be on its own a full level up. But I do wonder what the maximum limit is. Maybe seven. Seven's a lucky number. It's relevant in Zelda. Tiny Rifts don't give all that much, but I wonder how much more a dungeon would give. Twice? Three times? Ten times? Five times? I imagine that you need every one if you want to get to max. Absolute max, but still. There's a lot that is left unexplained that way. Okay. Put more beds down. And not like that. Not like that. You won't... Come on. Just throw your spear. Huh? You just can't detect him. What is up with that? Makes no sense. Whatever. Mm. Can I can't really get inside there. Mm. I really whatever. Hate you so much, legitimately. I okay. Bad, bad, and bad, bad. I what? Okay. That's really annoying. I just don't know. Maybe I could key swarm you from far away and hope that that gets you, but. I'm trying to figure out how to take you out. Well, actually, that's obvious. Use bind to drop you off the edge. I I am stupid. It's, it's not that I. Well, I kind of forgot that you could bind to just drop them because I. Frankly, decided to not use it as a tactic because it's kind of cheesy. A little. But here, especially my projectiles aren't even reaching. It's just, he's just too fast. Just stuns any, any, any summons I have that any have any kind of range capacity in. Okay. Just, just go away already. Okay. Well, that's the end of that. Come on by me. Come on, come on. We're there. We are. Sun water. Thank you. Finally. 
up here. My bad bridge over. Yeah. It's a rock there. Particle there. Once we move this rock out of the way, we'll be fine. Basically, honestly, I bet that mob is basically intended to be fought with bind anyway. There we are, and that's the end. Cool. All three of them. That means that all my friends in this area. And we can mend this rift. Hmm. Kind of wonder if there was any else to find in that little cave where Trifriend is was well, in. We could check that quickly, I guess. By the way, that's the end of the rift. Let's see what it actually reveals. Mm -hmm. Should get a little more power. My friend shoot some of their power with me. Emphasis on some. Oh, and yeah, some light crystals. Cool. So let's go back to your world now. Yay. All right. So now this is fully patched. Should be a way back in here somewhere. Oh, uh, okay. So this was where the rift was. Where would the way back in even be? Oh, this one might not actually have a route back. So it presumably just isn't interesting enough, I suppose. No kind of permanent content. Though to be fair, I don't think the sanctuary one had anything permanent in it either. That said, I don't even know if that one's actually still accessible or if I'm just misremembering. Yeah, but it did get rid of that rift. That singular rift. Okay. Hmm. Let's see if the sanctuary one even lets you go back in. Because I'm not sure it even does. Yeah, either way, we can move these pins. Let's check that rift location real quick just to make sure there was nothing there of any note. Again, I doubt there would be, but yeah, let's gotta check. I don't have to, just like to. Down over here. Was where that rift was, and now it's gone, and nothing really took its place. It's just a ugly eyesore that is no longer there. Yeah, I wanna see. Oh, the sanctuary. Is there any kind of special? Is there an entrance back in? Hmm. And it. Yeah, that rift is permanently closed. There's no way to get back in. Okay. I want to see. Is there a way to go in there yet? Probably not, but... Yeah, we could make something else. Like a gold egg. Someone gold egg with something else. I... Milk with a potato. Let's see what happens when we use a monster fan with it. Will this just get wasted? I bet it will be. Okay. And... Yep! A completely wasted gold egg. How sad. How unfortunate. Okay. Alright then, come back soon. Alright. That's what science is like sometimes. You don't always like the results you get from the scientific method. So can I get in this rift at all right now? Because yeah, it doesn't seem like it. Huh. That is... kind of curious. I wonder what will actually allow me to restore this rift. What enabling story event? Because hmm. I would imagine that it's probably a house or something here that they just really don't want me seeing yet, for whatever reason. So we can talk to her, I guess, and tell her that we've seen the Great Fairy and 
maybe she will acknowledge things. Maybe there'll be some kind of special message when we max out the fairies upgrades. Maybe. Hmm. We'll see. And now we will. Guess we can mark that. Right there. We'll mark it here. Gonna go across the water, but yeah, it. Thought it was basically confirmation that nothing lasting is ever going to be in one of the smaller rifts. Which makes sense, but confirmation is always nice. And hello. Yeah. Chance you've seen the Great Fairy since you last spoke. I met her. You did? Well, so I got so jealous that I blacked out for a second. I'm so where did you see her? Is that gonna ruin things in a cave on the little island? I knew it. Get phone could swim out there. Why well, we still better knowing where she is? Thanks for letting me know. Okay, now to learn how to swim. Could we get her flippers? Okay, gotta learn how to swim. Maybe if I pretend I'm a fish, blah blah. No, that won't work. Yeah, I don't think it'll work. Now we're up here. This is heaving birds on his path. Path. Watch your valuables. Hmm. This. I wonder what this is actually. This is probably not job rule. Hmm. Actually, go this way, because since I'm not going to job rule, this will terminate faster, presumably. But I do wonder when the Great Fairy will stop upgrading and how much her final upgrade will cost. Alright, there we are. Oh well. And I. Oh, that explosion was nasty. Well, we got this. That's. You won the Crow Echo. Roosting in high up spots, the spurred monster swoops down to steal people's rupees. Sad. For me. Yeah, so there's this, and yeah, that's where Jobble starts. I'm wondering, it's actually real big. I do want to kind of go around and see the boundaries of the rift before I actually... ...start the quest there. I want to see how much I can do before I actually start the quest. Luckily, the fish can't get out of water. Then it'd be a fish out of water. Okay. Wonder if we'll see any more kings, get any more... ...bomb walls. I really do wonder when Swordfighter Bomb is meant to unlock, and therefore when you're really meant to unlock Bomb is an option. But the fact that you can go to Elden Volcano and get a way to make things work... This from exploration is really cool. Oh well. This is another Zelda poster, yada yada. Fair enough. Hello? Eastern Temple. Ah, oh, yep, Eastern Temple is there. Oh, right, because it was originally Temple in the original localization, and they changed to Palace because of censorship. Harbor Castle, Seaside Village. But it's. It's not the sea, it's surrounded by mountains. It's an inland sea, maybe, but even that is stretching it. Stupid. Okay. I... There we go, let's move a rock. And Oh, there was a mic crystal just under there. Huh. Okay. And... I guess they're meant to be kind of easy, maybe, this early on. As you do kind of get sent here first, maybe? It's either this or Gerudo. The most obvious first one. Hmm. I think I'll leave this for when I go to Zora Land proper. Okay. Alright. Not much more here. But of course, you want to know where my crystals are. In oh, that is rather plainly Eastern Hyrule Field. Oh, wow, that's. Well, yeah, that's Eastern Palace. I wonder if I can just go in. Yeah, that's the whole of Eastern Palace right there. Huh. Cool. Clearly that's a mic crystal. Well, it might be. Haha. Uh -huh. Hmm. Does that really connect up there or not? It's hard to tell, frankly. That... I wonder where... What's diggable? All these... Patches of soft earth. 
And I do wonder when I'll get anything that allows me to dig. Oh well. Oh well. Come on. Let's attack from behind. Oh no, that's spear and what sword. Is that? Cool. Slash or not to fail. Cool. Sure you see. Slash. Good. Go on the other side and... Well, it... The Echoes are pretty stupid. They're a bit less aggressive than the enemies they're based on. Definitely a bal balance thing, but still. We definitely want to see what's in Eastern Palace. What might be in there. Hi, hi, I... Now we can lock on the rock and another my crystal. Okay. Cool. They, they, they really just throw them at you. Okay. Cool. Cool. But I imagine that Eastern Palace is probably totally filled up, so to speak, once you get inside. It's probably a dungeon for later. I do like how this area is rather unchanged from how it was in Link to the Past. There's Moblins and Octoroks in here. Oh well. Hi. Cut. Chop. Okay. Use our guy. Thank you. Thank you. Please, please, please. Nice. Oh, what a monster heart. Or, no, monster guts. Its materials drop sometimes by defeat monsters. You can't use it in its current form. Why is that so rare? Material drop by defeated monsters. When using a drink, they may produce stronger effects for the drinker. So I guess they're just here, maybe. Hmm. What's well, Morpheus Rift? Again, who knows what will actually be in it, but let's mark it anyway. Stuff up here. So is that somewhat mechanical? That might actually be where I get automatons. But I'd have to pay rupees for them, presumably, and frankly, I use most of them for accessory upgrades that are kind of superfluous. I do like having the increased drop one always active. That is how I like to play games like these. But if the limit is four, that's... I wouldn't say just aping Elden Ring, but there's some similarity there, then. That's... Hmm. I like that. Should be fine. Red Rupee, good to get. Thank you. Slash, get that. Hmm. Put all these rocks. It's fueled of weirdly geometric rocks to the east of the castle. Well, as I stay out of the way, fireworks should be good. Okay, and... There we are. Okay, cool. Up it's strong, but it's rather liable to catch me with it. Okay, there we are. Oh, but it actually blew itself up. Okay, so the crow was so low to the ground that it caused the firework to destroy its own launcher. Well, you know, double-edged cannon, I guess. Who is in here? A big Moblin camp. Um, music. Hmm. Oh, just another source of level 2 sword Moblin, it seems. Interesting. Let's actually go all the way down here first. This one's over to whatever this is. Also, that one bridge. Gotta remember it. Alright. So little trees seem interesting. I wonder if you could burn them with an Ignazol or something. I don't know if it's actually to use the Ignazol for anything. Come on. Thank you. Hi. It's like that. No, nothing. How sad. So let's keep spinning down this way. Outside the temple. Thank you, and... I bet that one of these patches of earth has something in it. It's circular enough. It said it's generally the ones that are exactly one tile, but still. I actually have something in it. You never even deploy the Rivetune, but it's still 
Takes up space in that queue. Hmm. All right, and the grass is back. So it does seem to be a distance thing, primarily. That makes some sense. Come on, come on. Slash, and... I... Never mind. We need to... Drop those light things. Come on. Slash. Please, please. Getting ganged up on, but one of them is gone at least. Can I? Come on. I oh, please. Dodge, dodge. Dodge. Oh, okay, that kind of works. Come on. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, advance. The timing's right that my moblin's blocking all of the other moblin's attacks. And opening up just the right time. Monster Stone. Let's summon our guy. Get this. Hedge of Weaves looks a bit conspicuous, honestly. That tech type is entirely separate. What is in this chest? Thanks. Keep you still. Thank you. And that'll do it. Make sure we get those rupees. And what is this patch of weaves? I... I don't know. Alright. More nectar. Cute. You should put a bed down then. Alright. Then, of course, see what's actually inside the chest. Hmm. So, what is here? What is going to be inside the Eastern Temple? I feel as if, given that the Eastern Temple is there, and there's also a big rift on the Desert Temple, that there'll be dungeons, big or small, maybe half-size, that will have to get the Pens of Virtue and maybe put them on the corresponding quince in the Eternal Woods? Eternal Forest, whatever it's called. That would explain why it's roughly trifle shaped. Hmm. I just wonder what's up with those small trees. It's curious. Some water here. I think I'll explore that body of water when I go to Hyrule Castle in its moat. Hello? Hello. Or that or not. But it, I do wonder what Castle Town is actually going to be like, especially since they are nominally supposed to be after me, even if they're too stupid to recognize who I am. I wonder if there's some way to basically reveal my identity inadvertently and get imprisoned or something like that. That'd be funny. Okay, go ahead. And there we are. Thank you. Well, there's another tech tank, but we can... Keep our distance. I'm particularly enthusiastic about fighting it right now. Mm -hmm. So we're on the back of where Eastern Temple is. Thank you. We will check that out right after. See what's actually going on there. This is one more of those armadillos. Hello then, and birds too. Okay. I. Okay. Opportunity, opportunity for firework cannon. Or not, or not. Put it down, then we have to drag it over, and. Come on, come on. There we are, and. The lingering fire damage does the trick. I like that. I really do. Let's get that. Armadillo. Oh, there's a stronger version of that armadillo. Interesting. Okay, but you're bouncing off the rock. That's annoying. Come on. Come on. No way to really bind, but we got you. Let's not aggro that one, if I can help it, before I'm in a position to actually fight it. And we got rocks. Getting under the rocks. A bunch of the others in my crystals. I want to... Check that out, and there we go. That's pretty much perfect distance. You're stuck, you won't come loose, we'll slash at you with impunity. And, hello. This is the Chromadol level 2 Echo. A powerful monster that rules itself with incredible momentum, flying over holes with ease. Interesting. I feel as if that might be used to get it for a puzzle then. 
Anything in there? I... Let's mark that anyway. Let's be sure. Okay. Keep on. Slicing. Can I move those rocks? Probably not. And this ledge seems to be irrelevant. Hello. Oh, this should be where the automatons are. Nice. Okay. Here we go. Now warp here using the map. Let's get started and wait and check. I'm not wandering. So I suppose we'll have to find him and it should be Dompe. That was something from the trailers. Alright. Come on. Keep on cotton. And there's all. Get up here. Let's use our beds. Cool. And that way. Need to put another bed down a bridge. And there we go. None of these can be locked onto, so. Don't think there'll be anything from there. From or in there. Uh, that. It's the outer wall of the actual temple, though. Calling it temple instead of palace is honestly kind of hard for me. Having to unlearn these things. Okay, clearly the tech dot can't get to me here. That's good. Thanks. If I'm climbing, that is plainly on my crystal. Yeah, okay, cool. Da -da 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 -da. Toss a rock to break the other rock. Thank you. And rock salt. Cool. Hmm. What else is around here? This? When does that actually become jobble? I don't know if that's to stay out of it for the time being, but. Well, this would be better handled by a crawl toy at this point. Thank you. Anything up here? It's. Doesn't seem like it. This would be what a crop to, crop to have where you can even see. That little cloud wall. But, we already have a way there, so. No. No need to pay any mind to that. Hmm. Up here or over this way? There's a cave down there. What if we got stuck there? Could make some sense. Okay. Those tiny, tiny trees. I... They're all over here. They do seem to be on the map. So I'm not sure they're just... I'm not sure they're entirely... I'm not sure they're even obstacles, but... Hmm. Jobble starts over here. They're even rips. I guess this is where we'll... Sort of mark our eastern boundary. Okay. That is more than reasonable then. We can stand on top of that. Here we can stand on top of a lot of other obstacles too. This is more eastern palace, but still I think I'll go up on this wall now. It's gotta remember where I've been where I haven't been. A little a little bothersome. Those kinds of rocks. I know what's in there. Oh, so... Maybe it is just... a completely optional side dungeon. If it seems like somebody... rather than something is getting us in there. Okay, cool. And... That won't break it, so I presume that... nothing will, I guess. We can come back down here and go in that cave. That's as fine an idea as any. Over here. This way. And... After this, I can pop into Eastern Palace and see what awaits me there. Good chance he's in that cave, frankly. Here is a... No, they're presumably diggable spot. Gonna probably have to take a picture soon and move pins. So, 
what is going on in this cave? That... Hmm. Well, I'm about to move it on there. Do it step by step. Alright. Maybe you can kind of move away, interestingly enough. To... Wait. Just barely push it in. And... Huh? I feel like I did that exactly wrong then. Weird. Hmm. Should push it all the way in. So the vine can go on for max distance. Okay, I... Hmm. So I can't get over there. It's a bind distance thing, or... I don't know. Huh. I... Really do feel as if... We're hitting max distance somehow at the exact wrong time. Wonder... Get as close as possible. Feels as if it's got to be some sort of extension upgrade, or I can't produce anything on the other side of the bars, is the thing. No, you can. Even push things through, so. Wait. In that case, the trick is probably to ignore that rock entirely and send something that will just move itself over. Uh, send a crawl to it there. I scuttle around, scuttle over it. Now I see. Do your thing. A complete red herring. Wait, what? What? Oh, come on. Go ahead. There we go. Thank you. Okay. You did your stupid job. And what's inside? The answer is just some my crystals. Okay. Suppose in that case we'll go over here and then go into Eastern Temple. Yeah. Don't see so much I can really do right now. Then other than that, Eastern Temple, Hebra, Castle Town, and then we start on either of the areas where, again, things will probably actually be happening, so to speak. Okay. Turn this down. Once you go back up. Go back up in the air. Okay. Thanks. And... Go ahead. Get blown up. Thank you. Goodbye. I like that. It's legitimately a very fun way to do that. Oh, and there are all those frogs. I think I got them there already. I... I guess I'll explore this water area now. It is disconnected from the moat. I may as well. Okay, cool. Take on these annoying frog things. Hi. Cool. Well, actually, you're basically stuck here anyway, so... Come on, come on. Go ahead, kill. Kill. Kill the frog. Kill the frog. Okay, there we go. Find the frog so it can't run away. And we send our dudes against it. And thank you. Nice. One more frog. One more frog. Oh, nice. Keep it still. Shield the block things, which is nice. And there we are. And now they can fight normally. Not having to worry about other garbage. Okay. They're running away. They're running away. Okay. Thank you. Bed would be nice right now. Thank you. It is funny that besides the double damage, the main thing you lose in your mode is just time. So every time you, so you can't get hearts, it's frankly just using the bed. Honestly, if they had made it sort of a you couldn't even use the bed. That would be even more hardcore, but it's just... What do you have then? Items? Smoothies? To be fair, item drops can also be used for replenish. It's just... Not as good as it would be if you had an actual smoothie that would do the job for you. 
Clearly there's a bridge up there. Hmm. Let's see. Stamp was there. Of course I could have crawled to this, but whatever. Come on. Hmm. That. That A. Breakable. No, it's not. Had to get a closer look, but no, it does not seem like. The breakable tank. Okay. Stamp was already obtained. Let's keep swimming and tectites. Awesome. Thanks. All right, you can jump. You can hit the mid jump. Do it a couple of times, but you can do it. Go ahead. You gotta do it again. Thanks. You missed? What? Okay. Come on. Some kind of ledge. Yeah, there is a ledge. Okay. Underwater ledge. Let's make more. Feels like they kind of expire and get stupid eventually. So be it. Come on, come on. Okay. Oh, okay, there's a cave in there. That's what goes on here. Now I see. Let's kill an Octorok first. Go around the radius outside of... Oh, okay, so... Just in space, despawn. Applies, or despawn and respawn applies to Echoes, too. That makes sense. Okay. Cool. Cool. And let's trap you. Well, not really trap you. In fact, that probably would have made the promise miss if they hadn't killed it already. Alright. Stupid, stupid tech tank. Come on. Oh my goodness. Hatred, hatred. I hate you. Alright. Oh, lingering hitbox. Now that's what I like to see. Few things in a game are satisfying than making a good lingering hitbox work for you. Let's go in that cave and see what's in there. Hopefully I can get a nice new echo from it, but I'm not holding my breath. Mm -mm. Oh, I think that mob would just fell in the water, didn't it? Yeah, it seems to have. So let's go inside this game. Let's see what there's to find. Well, first, let's sleep. Okay. Let's put this bit of water, so we'll move down this way and then take on the temple. Let's see what there is to see. Hmm. 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 Yeah, because it's Hebra, Jabul, Gerudo. That's what's really been unexplored. <laughs> oh, since the piranhas keep advancing, they probably moved away with enough movement. That's out of range. Okay. So this. Hmm. Down drafts. But the bed would block it. Would it? Huh. Weird. Oh, but I guess I could basically kind of work my way up. Using a table or something? I. Hmm. To force my way up and out. Something that floats aggressively. Aggressively floating thing. What could I even put underwater? Wooden box. Aggressively floaty. That is not aggressively floaty. Huh. Oh, it's probably just a matter of getting the fins to swim against the current. Okay. That'll be. An actual upgrade item, which will acquire Zora stuff. Okay. I definitely need to move some pins. Oh well. <clears throat> Next pin we get is a bunch of other pins removed. Okay. Firework. Alright. Come on. Thank you. 
And will that burn you the rest of the way? Maybe. Yeah, there we are. Broke the bomb because it died. Let's check out the tiny bit of land over here and then go to Eastern Temple and see what my rewards are for exploring it. So I really do wonder. Oh well. I come on. Slash. 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 Cool. So this is all. The moat. Do that all together when I do a Hyrule Castle. In Hyrule Castle in the Castle Town. It. I cannot imagine they would not have Hyrule Castle as a dungeon. At least eventually. If it is using the Link to the Past map. So let's go to the Stone Temple. Check all that out. Thank you, thank you. Mm -hmm. Chop the grass and can actually go up there. Oh, and stamps here. Well, I hadn't even thought about it, but it's been a while since I've actually got a new stamp. Oh well. That's fourth out of five. Hello, hello. Well, you seem aggressive and fast. Interesting. Shields are real nice though. Okay, another monster stone. Getting the scope quickly and early should hopefully help us out, but we'll see. Strength is always a good thing to have. Already been through there. Oh, then. It's honestly really funny to see these very, very retro style blocks. I guess it makes sense, because in a real sense, it could be architecture, not just graphical limitation. Hmm. Up here. Oh, yeah, we clearly need to climb over that. Okay. Let's get in. What's in there? Some moblins. Just throw our own into the fighting pit. Or have a zero just toss bombs into the pit. Could try that on that dream trial, I think. Maybe. I. Oh, well. You're just coming out. Okay. Cool. Oh well. Level 2 Spear Moblin. Interesting. Hi there. Oh well. I. Pull you over. Keep that going. Cool. Yep, they are a bit more vulnerable. And, oh my goodness. So that breaks bind, it seems. Okay, that makes sense. Slash. Slash. Thank you. I. Let's get you somewhere more manageable. Nice jump, I guess. Seem to mostly be spear ones. Slash. 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 And. Slash. There we are. Let's see what's in that chest. Thank you. Let's check this out. This is. Just butter. Okay, cool. But. We were out of butter. But. Okay. Let's stop a bit before going to the actual temple. It does seem to be a little smaller than it was in Link to the Past. But that's, I suppose, to be expected. Blame it on erosion. Okay. But. Honestly, the fact that there's so much asset reuse is the real thing that makes it the most Elden Ring like Zelda. Again, not a bad thing at all. The fact that they were able to put out a good game without much fanfare, without much, in without much time spent, was undoubtedly because they were able to reuse the engine and much of the graphics of Link's Awakening. That's just smart design. Hmm. So there's a rock there. Step over here too. That it has to be a micro. So it just does. Rock with that level of profound isolation. It's actually what the zero blow it up. Cool. And 
Yeah, Crystal. Thank you. Da -da 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 -da. All right, we have a lot. Not much to do with them right now. A lot, though. This could be something to dig. Probably not. Probably not. Hmm. Come on, Zero. Put that up. And... Yeah, my crystal. Cool. And it... I think there might be something to take over here maybe somewhere, but... <sighs> I guess it's time to... Remove a bunch of these markers. It's just... So many are required. I can't place any more of those, but if there is their diggable spots there, I... <sighs> Crazy. Feels nasty. Seems to be where the water kind of starts. Hmm. What do I want to remove? What do I feel comfortable removing? Oh, well, I guess we could get rid of the Goron City one because we're going to be coming back here no matter what, more or less, when the actual related quest starts. Wait, we don't want that. Okay. Let's go back inside. Thank you. Get into the actual temple proper. I know what's in there. Why, wow, you scared me. Sorry for the nerves, name's Sago. Sage. I'm an archaeologist, is there any particular reason you're here? Mm. Hope it's not go inside, there's a monster in there. The other day, I went inside and I heard this creepy voice. Let's play a game, shall we? Mm. Well, yeah, that's exactly what it sounded mm. like. Oh, did he hear it again just now? Yipes, okay, I'm opting out. Might stop friendly, well, that's the voice of a monster. Not studying the temple, well, there are monsters about. Let's play a game. We had an archaeologist named Sago at the Eastern Temple. There's a monster at the temple, so he's too scared to go inside. Hmm. Okay. Let's play a game, shall we? I wish someone could slay that monster. Hmm. What is this going to be? Oh! These are... Sparks of a sword. I bet a bomb might make it work. Yeah, that worked. And this is... We're in the Spark Echo. Strange entity that moves along walls, it is wreathed in electricity and will shock anything it comes in contact with. Okay. That works. Hmm. Oh, I wonder. Oh, I blow up. Oh, clearly. Did it go back in there somehow? Seems so. Hmm. We can. Strain your pass a bit if we move the rock over. Oh, but what it seems to be is that we're moving sparks over. Okay, so they go into that cube. Seems we have to actually put sparks into the cube to activate something. Okay. Let me see. Yeah, you put them in. It's an electric switch. Ah. Yeah, that's cool. That's real cool. It's in here. So inside this. Clearly we'll just put them down on the other side. And there we are. Opens that up. Oh, we even got a chest out of it. Fun. Though it seems like this is just a completely optional dungeon. Huh. 50 rupees, that makes you really happy. I... Let's move you over just to... Can't we kill that Octorok or... Can't get to the other side of this, it seems, even. Huh. Alright. Hmm. Guess the boxes that make the difference. It does not seem like this can depress, sadly. That's a shame. A ranger? Well, we could just... Toss a zero in. We really just felt like blowing stuff up for the sake of it. And I do. I honestly do. 
Come on. I, not like that. Not like that. It's a zero wonder. Lock on to. Oh, come on. Well, you'll keep on blasting it. That Electro Apple is going to despawn. But we killed everything at least. That's alright, I guess. Cool. Fun. And you go through your side and everything comes back except the Octodox. Okay. Cool. Oh, well. You just bind them. That's right. Bind them and move them onto the bomb. I... But they're fast. Need to keep track of them then. Okay. Hold you in place. You'll get bombed. Of course the trick is... You summon one on the upper level. So that you can have it go in this way. Or... Wait. Okay, that worked. Okay, cool. And that opened that door. It's gonna be the end of all this. Hello? Basically a dungeon without a map. Thank you. I, we got one. We got one. Now we trap you. Okay, that'll work. It's such a great distance, I suppose. And there we are. And this is... Just rock salt. Okay. Five portions of that. Go down. This is very unlike the original Eastern Temple, too. Not a bad thing, but... Come on. Let's... Toss a bomb. Chuck a bomb. Chuck a bomb. Please, please. Why are you not chucking a bomb? Who gives? Okay, well... Alright, I guess. Well, that killed that one. Okay, this should work. Hope that Chroma Dilla does not spot me immediately. Well, we... Cool. Now we can keep you at a distance and put our Mawin chop away at you. Yeah. Well, I guess we could just send our own level to Coromadillo, but... Always go for the most expensive option. It will usually be good. Okay. It... Bind is legitimately the best tool she has access to. And oh, in water, they're more effective. That makes sense. Okay. Cool. Go ahead and toss it on there, why don't you? Toss a bomb that doesn't fall in the water. Please. Please. Yeah, that worked. Okay. Alright, and rupee. Will bed do it? Bed will... Yeah, bed will kind of do it. Let's go and get whatever's in that chest. Okay. And of course the bomb is completely inert in water. And another rupee, okay. Hmm. What is the reward for this going to be? I hope more tri powers involved somehow. But frankly, I doubt it. Come on. Cool, I. Mm -hmm. I. No. I actually avoided that. Barely. Actually, what I could do is use a bed to make it come around the other way. Should be a lot easier to trap. Okay. Cool. You will. Thanks. Alright. Go ahead, bomb it. Bomb it, please. Alright. Should do the trick. Gotta kill everything. Okay. Thanks. And what if I just blow up these crates for no real reason? Go ahead. Really? That way? Whatever. Come on. What? Okay. Whatever. Come on. That should do it. And oh yeah, we got... I didn't think it would sink. Okay. Again, I wonder... What bombs would work underwater if it... Any. What way could you break cracked rocks while underwater? Okay. Poor rupee. And, oh, this is... Oh, that's hilarious. 
It's, it's Smog from the Crown Dungeon. From Oracle of Ages. A long last a visitor. I was absolutely starved for company. Let's play a game, shall we? I'll make the first move. Just try to keep up. It's literally Smog. Okay. So, eventually he'll split. We need to reconnect him, I think. Question is... What the best way to take you out? So, or, Trilis is immune to... Electricity? They are immune to electricity. But that's nice. When are we gonna split up then? I can very briefly bond you. Yeah, some briefly. I should split. I suppose you want that round. Forgive me if I get a little broken up. So now we need to make his segments merge together. Baha, good luck trying to hit me now. Yep. There we are. And yep. They will no longer take damage from anything. Completely invincible. Oh, but they actually got together because of... Huh? Weird. Either way, what you have to do is use blocks of various sorts to force them together and can even connect to other enemies, it seems. That's interesting. Other objects. I... Wooden box it is, then. Okay. Not, not that one. Just like this, we'll... Connect them, and there you go! Smog's back. Hello. Hello, then. Mm. It is legitimately very funny to me that Vault bosses, it's the ground dungeons. Which has some of the most infamously hated music in the series, too. Alright. Now it's five of them. This might be as much as it takes? I'm not quite sure. Other way, let's box it up. Works so well for a game like this. It's legitimately perfect. I feel like they, have, they had to have had this in mind. I, oh, good god! I like the ability to really aim those, is what kind of caused some problems, but of course we could just nap mid boss fight. Fine. Stick to those walls. Good stuff. Thank you. Just gotta get all of these segments to merge piece by piece. Thank you. Thank you. Should be good. Now you will link back together. You should at least. And here we are. Not a oh my lord. That was dumb of me. So all together. The same one. I Come on. I really, really? I okay, I no, no, no. No, no, it's pressing the wrong one. Whatever. Right, right. I'm losing it. Now we can get together, hopefully. The issue is that they don't move at different speeds. No, no, they do. They move at slightly different speeds so that they can catch up with each other. Okay. Now we need to get the last couple. Okay. Spots are pointing there for hearts, but... Of course, we don't get hard drops. Not like this. But a tiny mini dungeon with a, an unexpected reappearance at the end. I like that. Of course, you can use the rocks if you don't want to spawn in pots. And the fact that it's truly 3D there is interesting, too. But of course, you can't bind them. Mm -hmm. What is annoying is that walking onto the actual rock is. Not really much of an option here. Come on. Place, place. Okay. Got that, and it's really want you here. Catch up eventually, and there we are. Okay, cool. To break that rock would. Oh, of course, we can just bind to pull it out directly. It's not as convenient, but. Okay. Out of the way. I... Maybe we'll just connect you like this. That's cool. There we are! Cool. Time for you to get hit. It's gonna stay on there, it seems. Now this keeps you away. You can't touch... No, you can't touch that one switch. Now you can switch a bit. It's definitely Smog's biggest strength. 
To say that this boss sword has strength. Go have fun, it seems I need more practice. When next we meet, I will emerge the victor. You can count on that. I don't think so. Is that gonna be more tripod? Well, okay, it's a piece of heart. Mm -mm. And a work back. Hmm. Okay. Let's update it. Defeated Smog at the Eastern Temple. Make your way to the made at the temple's entrance. Tell Saga the good news. Huh. A piece of heart. Now we have three out of four. That was interesting. Okay, you need to linger on it for a second to teleport, so it won't just automatically do it if you might not like that. Okay, cool. Fun. Hi there. I saw something fly past me. Oh, smog ran away? I saw something come out of the temple. It looked like a cloud. It's such a perfect boss to reuse for this game. You're telling me the cloud was a monster and you defeated it. Incredible, I'm going to write about all this and you in my next paper. But it might take a while to get published, so here's this in the meantime. This is about an ancient charm. This enchanted object from long ago reduces the damage you suffer while wearing it. It's kind of broken, honestly. It's an artifact I found in the Fearon Wetlands. Be careful with it, okay? Now I can research the temple at long last. I just realized that I learned monsters can talk. Should I mention that in my paper, too? It's complete, thank you very much. Now I can research the temple safely. No monsters around while the sparks are still in there. And that... Play a game. The monster smog left the temple. The arche archaeologist Saga was pleased that you do his work in peace. Well, I imagine that it probably went somewhere. Can't imagine that would be the end of it. Maybe. Well, let's go back to Heber now, I guess. Let me see my accessories. Oh, that was a real nice. We don't need wall climb. Let's get defense. Enchanted object from long ago, wearing it reduces damage taken. Hmm. Slots are there. Hmm. Village is there. Bunch of waters. So what we could do, in theory, just to be really stupid and annoying, would be... Avoid the village completely, explore everything else as much as possible. And then go to the village to actually start the quest. Waters actually looks pretty big, too. For now, I guess we'll go to Havra. Hmm. The city did have that pot in it. What does it feel like? Hmm, but I will have to go back there. That is true. That is true. What do I want to get rid of then? This is a good number to toss out. So let's take a picture of these pins in. Rid myself of that and then use the... <sighs> Pins for Hebra. Okay. Remove. Triforce 1 shouldn't be, really even be all that hard to figure out, so... It is just the Triforce. Okay. Thank you. Select. Select. One's in this rift. Okay. Something there. By that windmill, but we don't have a way to dig yet. That's sad. Cool. We got 16 pins now. Should be nice. Let's go to Habra. See what I can find. We did a little bit in the mountains, we did the lake, we did Hyrule Field, including the temple. It was real cool. Rock Rose and City were basically nothing, though. There were a couple caves I had to go around and get, but that was still kind of nothing. It's Trudeau Desert. And yep, Desert Temple is being blocked off by the rift, so I would presume that it's going to be... A mini dungeon a bit like that. I wonder if that means Lon Mola's again. That could be cool. As the boss. An evil snowman. Okay. Huh. I bet an Ignazol would be incredible here. I think it's just melting. Absolutely melting it. That's when the snowball echo. A strange and hostile collection of living snowballs. This creature's true body is the head. It can regrow lost snowballs. 
Like the Ignis all back. And I wonder when Sheer Cold is actually going to start here. And it, oh, okay, we took some damage. So actually what I could do maybe is just toss it at the head. Come on. I, never mind. Never mind. Come on. No, no. Thank you. Let's do a bit of sleeping real quick. Do you have a... Is this grass up here? Looks like weeds. But I could keep warm by just staying close to the Ignizzle too. Hmm. Seems to be a broken bridge here and... Tower of Hera? Might be here too. Maybe. Because if Eastern Palace is something, I would imagine that Tower of Hera is, especially since the Desert Temple is still in the map. But Eastern Temple had a different boss too. Oh, there were your shiverings, Zelda. Are you going to be okay? So Wendy and Snowy up here much stronger than before. You'll freeze before long. You bring out something to keep you warm. This bed and Ignis would work. I hope. And yep, when we're by the Ignisult, we stay warm. Okay. We just carry this with us, except can't jump with it. Hmm. It's done. Okay. I guess we could just carry an Ignazol or put a Brazier down. And that's the fifth, which means on to the next stamp card. Hey. What's our reward this time? More golden eggs, maybe an accessory? I don't know. Piece of heart. <clears throat> yeah, well. Quite interesting how Phantom Hourglass did extra heart stuff, because generally they had. I had a number of full heart containers that you would get at the end of a really long side quest. Hi, and hello, Stamp Guy. Here I have up stamps. It's up as a little lad. I'm Haru's most stamply authority. Filled up another card as promised. Here's your reward. And it's, oh, another fairy bottle. Nice. They just get better. Look at you. Three cards already. You've come so far. It's inspiring. You're rallying on like a champ. It really takes me back. Sniffle. When I do my chores, I get enough stamps. Such happy memories. Stamp Mama, Stamp Papa, and good old Stampy. I hope they're all doing well. Is that all a hat? Is he bald or does he have red hair with a black little stamp handle hat on top of that? Oh, Stampy's her dog, what a pop. Well, enough rallying down memory lane. You're a real pro by now, so everybody for my step. When I start with a ready set, you finish with the go stamp rally. Got it? Ready set, go stamp rally. Wowie. Here's your next stamp card. More stamps are out there somewhere, and your next reward, too. This is the exhilarating stamp card. It's the stamp card chosen by stamp rally professionals. You feel the stamp guys love her stamps are radiating off of it. Okay. I better figure out that reward. Yeah. My story and... Yeah, just what he said before. Nothing new. Okay. Hmm. This isn't actually all that big, but... I should just use warming food. Exhilarating, and yep, it continues. Where the other one left off. It'd be cool to see them all combined into one. Yeah. Let's use some of this stuff. Take our chill proof. Yep. yep. Good stuff. Yep. What's in here? And is that a Freezard? Ah, a pumpkin. Three twisted pumpkins. Cool. Let's yep. do this. Hello. And we just, oh, they look like weavers. I see weavers. We're in the Weaver Echo. A patient subterranean monster waits for prey, then bursts to the surface, rotating its blades to attack. Just two, okay. Mm -mm. Keep going through here and just trap you. But I wonder if the Sword Mountain would do better because. Is it even a plant or it drops a pumpkin, but it doesn't say all that much. So if we didn't have a brazier, we could get one here. Can use that to avoid chill if you feel like it. It's a way. Let's chop down grass. It's for fun. Very plainly a waste, but whatever. This is the time I have with chill proof. Come on, come on. And we'll have to equip another. Check another potion now. Okay. Ice case. Interesting. Hmm. Got a lot of these, a lot of pumpkins. Things to mix, no peppers, but there were three more ingredients. Oh, but 
And that stays in to keep the slot up, but it's grayed out because no more. Oh, we need much more. Potion, potion. Okay. Cool. I... I guess we could try to firework for that. Sure. Were you over? It? Oh, oh, these ice keys are strong. Interesting. I. There we are. So we can get this ice keys echo. That's. And the ice keys echo, and that's four. Wow. A flying monster shredded in a zone in a frigid air. They can freeze and be solid. Interesting. I like that. And I. Got you here. Thanks. Nice. Got. Oh, annoying. Don't like you. Let's put you down and fire on the ice. Should be effective. Cool. Cool. Hmm. Come on. Come on. And it, lots of pumpkins. So I suppose they're more or less intending you to use automatons for various things at this point, which. Again, makes sense, but we're not. <laughs> I think we'll find another teleport point around here. I feel like more pepper food would be a good idea, but... I wonder if we put you down, how this would work. Okay. Slash. Okay, that worked even better. Okay. We don't have... What a great ways to use fire right now. Okay. Let's drink a bit more. Potato's nice, I suppose. Oh, there. Hi. Cool, cool. Thanks. And oh, weavers. All right. Enemies themselves aren't actually all that strong. It's really more about the ice. Oh, okay. Not that hard to fight. It's just... To keep you in a position of... Some of this can definitely be melted. Let's see. I... Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. There we go. Okay, pumpkin. Fun. Let's see how much of this ice we can melt. Okay. Okay, so it works similarly to... Breath of the Wild, where it's sort of about time next to in contact with burning things. I think a brazier might actually do the job better then. Ensure it stays close. Okay, let's keep this up. There's so much time we have with this, though. Let's see how a brazier would do melting ice. Melt as much as this as I can. Brazier. Okay. Oh, come on. That. Melt it that down. Thank you. Let's melt as many of these as we can. Hope we get something. Oh, we got weavers. Okay. I could probably the Twilluses, because they're totally They're a bit weaker than the Sword Mob one, but they can't be stunned. Which is really nice. The immunity to impact is quite good. Hmm. What and where? Not that. So it has to be the faces, it seems. That's just rupees. Okay. Uh, there it should get both. Yeah, both. Maximum efficiency. Cool. Grapes. And pull that out. Cool. This is... What is it? Oh, more pumpkins. Lots of pumpkins. Huh. Okay. Oh, and a cave. Mm hmm. Check that out then, maybe. Gonna be cold in the cave, too? Maybe. Who knows? Okay, that is nice. Keep that for warm. Maybe go up here and up there in that cave? Sure. But, of course... Hmm. Once we got this down, there would be some disappearance. Honestly, we don't really need it as long as we're willing to... Kill off the damage with the bed next to a brazier. So, this is no longer as cold. Hmm. That's the limit, though. Alright, cool. Go, and once that happens, we'll pop a fire down to stave the cold off. My question is, of course, 
What happens when we... Can we climb up here? We can, yeah. And use a brazier to do the job of melting whatever this is for us. And Oh, yeah, my crystal. Cool. My crystal. Okay. 20 already. Huh. Let's do this. Going up, and it's not too cold in the cave. That's good. Thank you. Oh, but maybe... Let's try putting a beam of the stone. How will this work? We'll get hit. Nice. Oh, but it's not hitting you in the right spot. Anyway. And it... It doesn't really see stuff all that well at all. Okay. Cool. There we go. Bumpkin. Oh, and we can... Get some of those ice blocks. Build with them. Of course, we need to echo one before we get rid of it. If we melt in them up before we echo it, we just have to come back and reset everything. Oh, that is when the ice block echo. Like most ice, this block slides when pushed and floats in water. It also melts in the heat again, like most ice. Yeah. Got a couple. Oh, and there's a bit of an impact AoE, it seems. When they fall, they break it. You can see a bit of distortion. Hmm. Alright. Crawltola should be good here. I can imagine. I mean, Strantola. Free ladder. Good stuff. And there we are, Sword Moblin. Go get him. Go get him. Nice. We do have how many pumpkins? A lot of pumpkins. Okay. Some there. Melt our way down. Thank you. Chris, we could use the bed here too. I wonder if Tower of Hera might also be cold too. That would be frightening. A dungeon that is also just sheer cold the entire time. I don't know though. Oh, this at least seems a bit far-fetched. Hmm. I wonder if there's going to be an accessory somewhere that can allow me to just walk around in cold without worrying, because I would have to go to the desert to get more peppers otherwise. Hmm. Come on, come on. Here we are. I wonder if it less damage also applies to this stuff. Jars of Floral Nectar. Okay. Let's start the brazier. Gradually melt its way down. And, oh, I did not mean that. Let's sleep real quick. Get one heart back. Okay. Alright. Cool. It's gone. We can put another brazier down. Cool. Why not melt everything? Absolutely. Oh, because it... Mmm. Okay. That's why. Because this is ice water. Alright. There's at least too many problems. And I... Ah, come on. Come on. Right. This most accurately and well. Well, that kind of worked, I suppose. Come on. Brazier. Those. Bed. Brazier. Could put a single table, maybe. Or just drop this on. There's no reason, really, to metal the ice. I find it more fun this way. That's the reason. And if you get on the ice, well, it doesn't damage you in and of itself. You can use things. You can use the blocks to your advantage, or you can just say, screw it. Okay. More of that. Another brazier. Okay. Imagine if I hadn't gotten the brazier. Fair, there do seem to be points around here to pick the brazier up. Still. So. Alright. Nice. Breaks that one. Cool. Get in here. Thank you. What a pumpkin smoothies to make. Thanks. Anything in here or no, nothing. It I would like them to acknowledge my efforts in 
melting every single piece of ice in this little cave. Maybe. Keep playing pinball. Okay, cool. Monster stone. That's gone. Those would despawn after long enough, right? Probably. And... Razor. That's gone now, too. All right, we need to kind of stay then. Hmm. Kind of tough, but... Oh, yeah, actually, just... An Ignazole could do it. Stay close enough for long enough. Okay. Back up as much as we can, and... Well, it... Hmm. It's not getting damaged. It's continuing to melt them. Okay, cool. And... It's gonna be in there. It's... Nothing? Is it off screen so it despawned or? Oh, I think it was might have just been shining to say, oh, you can get over the enemy if you want to by doing it this way. That's what I'm gonna say, I hope. Attack the switch. Thank you. What's in here? The answer is. Oh, golden egg. Okay. Cool. Find another pepper. That's what I'll use it with. Alright then. Braziers. Braziers. Keep warming myself. So there. Can't see much. Gotta go back down this way. Okay. Melt that ice. And I. Oh, there was something there already. Melted. Or. Oh, ice keys killed by the fire. Okay. That's fun. It's a bit in here too, which is good. Come on, come on. Whoa! Spreading to the... Spreading to the grass. But it takes time. Interesting. Wouldn't have expected that. Hmm. And see, it's a bit different because this one is scorched. Okay, cool. Stay by the brazier while you fight. Come on. Can only attack by sending out. Okay, thanks. There we go. And Brazier. Hmm. Bit of stuff over here, but I'm too complicated. I uh, stay by that Brazier and hmm. Oh, it destroyed it, or that's not good. Just gotta make sure that Ice Keys doesn't see me. And I oh Lord, have mercy. Where did that ice piece go? By the way, I need to keep it still and use fireworks to get it. Firework cannon, come on. Oh, please. That's not good. That's really not good. Okay, and... First... There we go. Cool. That's another bed down. Get that little sliver of health back. This... The limitation on where I can go is oppressive in a good way. It sets a real condition on what I can do and how I can do it. Oh, there's Wolfos. Wolfos there. I. Come on. Come on. Is this just a normal Wolfos? I think so. Okay, cool. Either way, I can die. We'll kill it. Once the braziers stop coming, that's when we'll use our potions again. Okay. Dead down. This can take me up. Yeah, I can take me up. Okay. What all is in here? Another wolf -os. Okay. And ice keys, but mostly wolf -os. Oh well, oh well. I'll... Oh, right. Put the brazier down and... I guess send something a little less combative at it. Okay. Go ahead, get punched by the Twi'lus. Smack. Smack. I can stay here forever. I imagine there'd be a light crystal or something here. Wouldn't that be something all that meaningful? Oh well. Can't get you with that, so... Well... Come on, come on, I... Mm. Please, please. 
You're up there now. Hmm. Come on. Why don't you buy a brazier might help, maybe? I don't know. Let's... This is, yeah, it's clearly a microsaur. Okay, cool. Nice. Bomb that. Let's throw the grass too. And that's another my crystal. Cool. 20. Put this down and find a way to catch you in place. I oh, please. Raise your closer then. Yes. Come on. Come on. Stupid ice keys. The fact that it's four costs is actually kind of crazy. Okay. And back. There we go. Cool. I... It's tough here. Hmm. There's water up that way. Broken bridge over here. Bet a gyro could take me across. Maybe. I don't know. Check out the water here and what seems to be maybe another bridge there first. Hmm. That's a normal brazier. Send the sword mob in it and we can hopefully have them fight. Without having to worry about it destroying the actual brazier, which separate from my object limit. Okay. Hmm. It's over there. There's water in there. Hmm. Yeah, that's where it was before. Let's go over by that ice water. See what scoop is with that. Hello? Hello. Hi. Hmm. Water, water, and twist palm. Oh, a business scrub in here who probably wants pumpkins. That's fun. Probably climb up, but we take some damage along the way. Waypoint has been recorded. You can now warp here using the map. Twist the palm. Okay, hi. Oh, oh, that takes away. Burr, if not for that warming smooth, I'd be freezing my leaves off. I came here to have her mount, came to have her mount because I heard it had twisted pumpkins. But it's just snow, more snow, and there's funny looking snowmen. Where I was hoping a real one customers with tasty twisted pumpkin smoothies. Oh my dear twisted pumpkin, where are you hiding? Give me one. Getting it twisted. A business scrub caught me have her mounting, hoping to make a new kind of smooth, but they haven't found any twisted pumpkins. Let's get you that. Or if I don't get my hands on a twisted pumpkin soon, here you go. That's a twist p, -p palm <laughs> Twisted pumpkin. I've never seen one in person before. That pretty swollen shape, that shiny waxy skin, I'm in love. I'm going to keep up now. I'm going to open up shop right away. Here for helping me out. Oh, peppers! Okay, that's good. Ten one peppers. Oh, that's even more beautiful than I heard. What a stunner. I'm not cold at all now. The burning fire in my heart is keeping me warm. And the business scrub on Heaver Mountain is grateful for the twist pump you gave them, and the smoothie shop is open. You're welcome to the smoothie shop. Smoothie, please. We could make a warm pepper, a warm golden smoothie. Let's do that. We got it. Maybe another potion too. Alrighty. Your smoothie. That is a golden piping hot smoothie. A spicy fragrant smoothie whose flavors contain hidden depths of subtlety. Make a few more. Pepper and... Horse... Sure. I got it. We're gonna make it with everything we have. And crap! No, it's actually just a horse smoothie. Okay. We could maybe get rid of that if we have to. A bunch. Potion. Unfortunate. Fortunate. Butter and guts. Try the butter. Some rupees. Cool. Cool. Smoothing. And it's crap. Yeah, butter and pepper is... I not imagine that would be good in any way. Not even spicy because of the butter, presumably. Pumpkin. Make a lot of stuff with the pumpkins, too. Hmm. Might want to save those rubies, honestly. Smoothie and... This is more mixed smoothie. While many flavors make up this blended smoothie, the spice is the leading taste. So with the guts. Will this be a better potion? Hmm. It's basically a better version of the horn. Okay. And you got a piping hot potion. A warming versus piping hot. Wait. 
Warming potion, drinking this summer potion provides cold resistance thanks to aromatic spices. This is piping hot. Oh, chill proof versus ice proof. Oh, so that should be complete immunity, maybe. Drinking this fierce spicy potion will prevent you from freezing in the cold. So if an enemy tried to freeze me, that would prevent that as well. Hmm. Okay. Now I see, and we've got a teleport. It's good and all, we'll just make our way down. We could climb up to this, but definitely feel as if some of the bridge-related content, so to speak, is meant to be our way forward. Okay. Come on. Okay, that. This. Thank you. Thank you. Not more ice, and what do you know? The bridge is broken. Yay. Can't even see the other side. Hmm. What is your do? Okay, more ice keys. Let's grab onto you and get the brazier closer, and then we can firework it. Uh huh. What is this gonna connect? Go ahead, connect. 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 How do we lure you? Maybe it's just a normal keys. Manual. Try to get in. Maybe. Go ahead. Kill the normal keys. Yeah, now you should hopefully be on me. Huh? Or, no, you're even higher now. Huh. Okay. Can I wink to you? Yeah, there we can wink. Okay, cool. Nice, and glass, glass. There we go. Cool. Automatically destroys itself when its time's up. Cool. And pumpkin. Okay. So pumpkin and hmm. send a twilus and brazier. What if the brazier would actually damage you? Could make some sense. I oh well, whatever. Twilus, twilus. Okay. Thanks. I, well, you broke that too. Okay. Well, it seems the pretty big AOE is really useful too. Interesting. I oh Weaver. Hate this. Come on. Hmm. Weaver being rather good against I mean Chulis being rather good against knockback is good. Can't really be stunned. That means well okay. Come on. Hit. Hit again. Thank you. I, well that that will do it. Fall off into the void. Let's climb up here then. Graltua. Oh no, that's a Strandula. Dumb. Thanks. Alright. Come on, I'm gonna start freezing. So be fast about it, please. Come on. Okay. Brazier. This and. Oh, more monster guts. Eleven handfuls. Okay, and they're measured in handfuls. Interesting. Well, let's rest. Across this broken bridge portion. Hmm. A castle town. Let's say the next check one will probably hop out. This? Really, Heber's cool. Heber Mountain. Well, it seems kind of like multiple, maybe. Okay. Brazier. Brazier. Us. Hey, I uh, broken it. Thanks. Cool. Cool. Slow though. It's annoying. And okay, come on. Hit. 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 There we go. Got that too. Keys are coming. Don't like that all that much. There we are. Cool. Firework should do it. We'll just get you in the spot. Nice. There we go. Cool. And more weavers. Okay. Come on. Hit. Hit. Uh, okay. Hmm. Go ahead. It is interesting that they're so brutish that they'll break my own blazers. Hmm. Come on. Come on. 
Hit him. Oh, that's okay. Uber seems surprisingly damaging, too. Here, the treelesses are weak to make up for the fact that they're uninterruptible. Okay. Alright. Not going. Trillis. Hit. And. Yeah. Yeah. Hit. Hit. And another ice case. Awesome. Just what I like to see. For what it's worth, they really don't seem all that aggressive. Pretty much perfectly happy to sit around doing their own thing until I kill them. Oh, maybe they're there to kind of block you off from just using some kind of glide to get across the bridge, maybe. I can't imagine that that would be the kind of thing they'd actively need to prevent in the first place. Hmm. Like some kind of homing on try would be. What? Oh, I got it and then missed it. There we are, okay. Cool, we'll take you down here, one. Two, thank you. Nice. And I, oh, there we go. That alerted the other one. I alert. One, two. It's such a cool item. Okay. Purely offensive. Yep, the bridge is gone. You can actually see a bit of the other side, but that bridge was pretty important in the other Zelda games that were important here. Well, you got about nine more minutes, I'd say. You can go a little further. For farther in. Right, right in. This is... Oh, interesting. What is this? Some kind of settlement? You're in. A yeti? Can't read that. Hmm. Oh, okay. Probably mark this. Yeti house. Sure. But of course it raises the question of what will we do here? What is the notability of this place? Also there's stuff up here kinda. Not really, but kinda. Hmm. Yeah, not really. Not even kinda, just not really. Okay. Keep moving, use these braziers, keep ourselves warm. Mm -hmm. But it Tower of Hera is up top, probably. Eastern Temple was still here. Palace slash Temple. Wouldn't imagine they'd get rid of the rest. I... Aww. Seems that they have insufficient heat to melt the snow. Could try the Ignazole, but I don't think that's the problem. Yeah, it's just blocked somehow. Maybe hotter fire would do that. Somehow. I don't know. Hmm. Let's get on. Toss a brazier down. Cool. Thank you. Down here. Just in case there's anything. Come on, like that. And that. Oh, my crystal. Fun. Got a my crystal, and now we have 22. Oh, okay, well. Kraltula would be the only way through here. Go up this tree, get to that stamp. Okay. That was tough. Here we go. And first stamp on Pro. Fun. Let's take the crawl tool out and get back on top. Thanks. I no, no, no. There we are. Taking cold damage. Awesome. That's what I like to see. First one I saw, we had to actively go on top of trees like that. That's fun. Okay, keep on moving a bit. Probably bed down. You know, it would be nice QLL if that waypoint could restore all your health. Probably a good thing that is not the case though. Hmm. So is this a segment we can even get to or is that the end of it? It's a mountain up here, so I'm wondering if we can get to the peak or not. Hmm. An enemy camp there. 
Mob encampment and then stuff up here presumably. A lot of interesting things. Abra Mountain, Jabba Waters, and Trudeau Desert. And of course, Castle Town, but where is Dante wandering? That's the real question. That is kind of a limiting factor right now. Okay. Seems to be something in here, maybe. Answer is. Oh, rock salt, okay. Way high up now. Oh. I... This might be a potion opportunity. Might be worth using the potion now. Yep, because we got to start a real fight, which means braziers are not going to be... Really, what something I can deal with now. Okay. Mm -hmm. Can we... Ah, stupid. Slash. Or miss. Or whiff. Okay. Cool. Hi. Slash. Slash. Okay, yeah, and we just gotta make sure we don't bonk off the ice. This takes six or so. Yeah, that's decent. Okay. Ah, now we got noise. How many of you are in here? Seems to be a pretty small mob camp, so. Grab you down here, pull you down. And I, oh, well, alright. Don't need that brazier, but it would have been nice to have. Okay, because we're just needed for melting now. Okay. Trapping the enemy is good, but this works as well. It's a horns. Where will we get more guts? Mm -hmm. Not this, I suppose. Kind of a waste of the time of- Oh, there was one in there! Okay, cool. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Alright. Alright. Cool. Hit. All about getting the time to line up in a way that works for me. The bonk. So it's either one guy always bonks off and gets hit, or the other guy always bonks off and gets hit. Cool. Let's brazier this up. Thank you. Thank you. Cool. Mm hmm. I. Wait, there's a passage back there. Back passage. So let's pull you down, drop you, and that'll work. Yeah, yell. It won't do anything. Kill other friends already. Cool. Oh, but we can keep mine down indefinitely. I can be able to help maintain pursuit. Okay. Interesting. Get close and die, and that should be it. Oh no, because they're more in the ice. Ah, there we are. Cool. Nice. That should work. Move in, slash, and yeah, whatever's in here. But using it for that flight is pretty good usage, I'd say. Chop. Hit. Thank you. That was all of it, so what are we going to get from this chest? It'd be funny if this was the repeated golden egg farm. Oh, it's a butter farm. Okay. Hmm. Anything over here, or... It's a little... conspicuous spot. Hmm. Once I can melt snow sort of stronger fire or something. Feels as if something will be there. But not right now. Start melting this. Got a rupee. Okay. Through, spin, melt. Not like this. Melt. Spin, spin. There's water up there. Oh, and this is... another cave. I bet there's going to be a teleport at the end, maybe? Hello. I see cave. And it's... Is that another level of the sword goblin? It might be. Yeah, it looks like it. Okay, cool. Alright. 
So in that case, I have to do the silly strategy. Or we could use bombs. Bombs will hurt you a lot, too. Yep. Gets behind the shield, though I'm not even sure the shield would block it. Cool. Yep, slow. Easily damaged by bombs. Do this and see what works for us. So this would be another way to get level three. Yeah. Wonder if there even is a level three spear moblin. Okay. Cool. And just spin away. Come on. Bombing. Oh, so they can spam bombs pretty much indefinitely. That's fun. If you just keep putting them down. Ah. And that's an energy belt. You're not sure what this belt is made of. It increases the energy that much more energy will appear when you defeat dark monsters so useless to us. Let's climb up the mountain then. A belt of unusual materials that increases the likelihood that much more energy will appear after defeating dark monsters. Okay. That was the terminus of that, so let's just climb. Let's survive for a bit. We got 40 seconds of chill proof. Climb up the mountain here. So that does seem to be the only path ahead. Just couldn't crawl to a wall. To a... Actually, wall tools are different. And... They'll just let us go. Fun. Let's find ourselves a... Oh? Wait. You're, there aren't any rips here. Let's head back, Zelda. Or not. I... I don't take orders from the likes of you. I'm a... Triangle. Hmm... Let me just pull out from across to find- Oh, this is where the Ice Wiz robe is. Well, that's fun. I wonder, could I find myself a chill proof is good here? Yep, we got a teleport point, so. I think this could stop at point, just this big ice lake at the top of the mountain. The head back, I don't take orders from the likes of you. You know, it'd be nice if cold was reduced by that. But there's an ice whiz robe for us to take down. However, I feel like an oh, the firework would be really nice at killing a whiz robe, I bet. I think the mountain goes up higher. So is Tower of Harry even still here? Or what? Either way, I... I haven't got much left in the world to explore. And then I can just roll through the quest lines as I desire. It's nice. So, quest wise today. I found Smog in the Eastern Temple, not Palace Temple. Helped out the fireworks artist and gave that guy Twisted Pumpkins. Nice. So I think that'll be a good place to stop off. Just got a little bit of this, a little bit of Ice Mound. We can go around Rudo Desert and Job Wool. And then actually go through dungeons. Awesome stuff. So thank you very much. And yeah, Santa Ragon. Until next time. Not done there.